Monkey, hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm a, I'm waking up still a little, a tiny little bit. <laughs> We're gonna have a good old time, baby. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm gonna sip this tea, everybody. Can you hear it? Probably not. What if I fake it? I'm gonna fake slurping tea. <sighs> Was that believable? Maybe I really did it. You'll never know. You'll never know. <laughs> Sounds like delicious cheap. Jabanda, hello. Katsu, hello, hello. It's bussin'. Let me have some more. I'm drinking tea, everybody. This is how I drink tea. Do you guys drink tea differently than me? <laughs> it's gonna be a weird stream. G Baba, hello. What are you excited about, Star? Is your is your is your job quitting? Uh, nigh? Is it happening soon? Oh my goodness. I accidentally woke up at like four in the morning. It is now nine in the morning. I got uh, some sleep in between. Um. However. Uh-oh. My brain is all like... <laughs> That's a Homestar Runner reference, everyone. <laughs> You're super nervous. Writing a resume for yourself. You're a background actress. Oh, that's fun. Hell yeah. I didn't know you used to work in the film industry. I also used to work in the film industry, but behind the scenes. Behind. Behind. <laughs> Am I centered? I look off center. Maybe it's just because I got a lean. I got a lean about me. Oh, 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 oh. Are we gonna have left to work? Hell yeah! I'm so excited for you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. All right. Listen. Last Thursday, we stopped playing this game, this Paranormal Sight game, and all I could think about is that I wanted to keep playing it, but I couldn't. So here I am now, and we're gonna we're gonna play it. I'm gonna recap a little bit though. Excited because of Discord updated. Oh, it did, they didn't do the stupid name thing, I hope. If they do that, Discord's dead, and I'm very upset about that prospect. Um, write your congressperson. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, let me do a little re- I'm gonna turn this music off and turn this music, the in-game music, back on. So, put this to four, I think I had it. It seems pretty good. Um, okay. No. Apply, apply all, please. Uh, I modeled and was a background extra. Regime to continue. Yeah, you should do it. I think that's exciting. Hell yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. Last we left off. So here's the plot of this game. If you are new here, we'll get a quick synopsis. It feels too loud. Let me, let me. There we go. Um. Bam. So, there's a bunch of, um, curse stones. People, these people are all getting curse stones. And curse stones let you kill people. Um, and so this guy, this detective, and his partner are trying to collect them all because they are good guys. Um, this is a schoolgirl, and she wants to bring back her, 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 like, dead friend. But... Um, now she has a curse stone and she's worried because the curse stones make you kind of murderous if you're not careful. Um, 
And then with her, I don't know. She didn't get... She got a curse stone. But the last thing we saw was that she just sort of went to bed. And it wasn't very exciting. So I don't know what happened here. Um, we j The last thing we did was that our cop characters... Um, they got a call from a serial killer from 20 years ago who just got left out of prison and they've got a curse stone and it's all madness. It's all like, escalating so quickly. Bubba Wallace, hello. You're going to do great, G-Mama. Don't worry. Um, so I want to keep on with the cops because this is like a directly next to it. So let's just go for it. I do all the voices. Here we go. Uh... Yeah, summary of previous events. Hajime Yoshimi's death. Benjamin's threat of mass murder. The problems just pile up, putting the detective's goal of collecting all the curse stones in jeopardy. Tsutsumi leaves Irio to handle the investigation while he catches a quick break. Quick break. Quick break. Quick break. Ichibori Park. This is the park where the first character also died mysteriously. <laughs> so we have Ario, who's like a kiss boy, and, and the detective, who's a hardened detective. Sorry for the whip, boss. I just managed, but I managed to get some information. Took you long enough. Oh, what's up, baby? Things at the station were pretty hectic, but I managed to get some info. Let me fill you in. Thanks, the floor is yours. Tell me everything, please. A total of three mysterious deaths were confirmed in the area, including this one in this park. So let's start with th that one, the young man we found here. That was, uh, that was us from another time, Shogo. He's been identified as Shogo Oki, 25 years old, a regular old office worker who worked around here. He died of asphyxiation due to water in the lungs. He drowned. He drowned in the middle of the park? That's not possible. It's got to be a curse we're dealing with here. About that, boss, isn't this park associated with one of the seven mysteries too? You can't be this silly and funny today. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, 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 that's what his voice is. Oh my God. Oh, this is the Whispering Canal. Yeah. That's right, the Whispering Canal. It does seem there'd be a link between a canal death and death by drowning, don't you think? Sharp thinking, Ariel. You're starting to get the hang of this. So let's assume they're related. What's next? Before that, the body of a woman was found behind a residential complex in Kamizawa. The victim had been identified as Tawako Hayashi, 29 years old. She was an office worker who lived in her own, who lived on her own in the area. We don't know that person. As for the cause of death, well, yes, the entirety of her body was crushed by some kind of strong external force. No murder weapon was discovered in the area, but considering the way she was found, we're looking for something large, flat, and heavy that could have crushed her in one fell swoop. Hang on, are you saying she was stepped on? Meaning, uh, uh. Uh, the foot washing? No. I don't actually know which one this is. We'll say the foot washing mentions. Exactly! Crushing is the foot washing mentions modus operandi. This place was pot The place where the... The place the body was discovered is also known to be related to the seven mysteries. Shabby, hello! Welcome! Thank you! How are you? <laughs> Then this is Namagaki's doing? Shit, I knew he'd used it. Judging by the amount of soul dregs, the victim was just a regular person, not a curse bearer. Guess we should report this to paranormal affairs. Got it, and that's for the third victim. Uh-oh. He was identified as Kohi Janochi, 32, a teacher at Komagata High. Oh, wait. He was found in the school's courtyard. Cause of death appears to be external trauma from a heavy, from a fall or heavy blow. The impact crushed his arms and legs. Since he was found in the middle of a courtyard, he couldn't have fallen from the gymnasium in the main building. Teacher dying at school. And not just any school. Kamagata House is one of the seven mysteries. Uh, I forget. She got the, she was given it. But I don't remember which one. I don't remember. Persons of interest. Because. 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 What's her name? What's it? it no, not her. Yako? No. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. I don't remember. I guess it doesn't matter. I haven't joined one of your streams in so long. How are you? I'm good. I'm very um, sleepy today, though. <laughs> How are you doing? No, you're really well. You told me. 
You've already told me. <laughs> I just read it. I'm glad to hear it. I'm tired, yo. So say we all. I woke up accidentally at four in the morning, and I'm having a, a sleepy, a sleepy good time. I'm fine, but I'm a little bunchy, you know. We're just gonna say the uh, clappers. Nope. This position. That's right. I was gonna say that one. I swear. <laughs> we can't rule out the possibility this was death was also the work of a curse. You see, either way, it seems all three victims can be tied to the seven mysteries. There's probably a curse bearer at the center of it all, pulling the strings. But you've got a point. All these strange deaths do point in one direction. The band, my favorite band, One Direction. That's right, and Hajime's case wasn't all that different either. He also died of a mysterious- He also died of mysterious causes in a place connected to the Seven Mysteries. This is a, an, a, a cop who died, so they were originally investigating his murder, this guy. Problem with that timing- Problem is the timing doesn't match up. He died before the curses were activated. Hmm. Would he have been hit, been hit by a different curse? One that didn't have anything to do with the Seven Mysteries? Hmm, that's a thought, but... If that were the case, we'd be dealing with a powerful practitioner. One who could pull off a curse like that without using a curse stone. There are many people this day and age that could do something like that. He's got a, He's getting a little kissy, too. Oh, really? I see. I don't know too much about that stone. I'd be more surprised if you did. Detective talking about deaths and murders, the voice company gives out. Ah! Listen, he's the kissy. He's gonna start kissing. At some point, if we get to see his face. Well, looking at these deaths, it seems like the well, many of the curse bearers acted last night. But we can't rule out that there were more killings from which the bodies haven't been found. Yikes, I hadn't thought of that. But there is one silver lining. Judging by my own curse stone, it seems that the curses can't be activated while the sun's out. Oh, that's great news. So basically, we're safe during the daytime? Exactly. That's also likely why Nejima gave us till dusk. Ah, oh, he must have known the curse stones couldn't be used during the day. Either way, we got till nightfall to settle this. It's time we flushed out the other curse bearers. Aye, aye, boss. Let's do this. But tell me way more about everything else. At the moment, we only know the identity of four curse bearers, you included. Yutaro Nagi Namigaki had the foot-washing mansion, and Hideki Araishi had the ever-burning lantern. Detective's just in a silly, goofy mood all the time. I'm so high up. Why am I this high up? Oh, is it because... Hold on a sec. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it! Okay. So we got both of the curse stones. And then there's Nejima who claims he has a one-sided reed. Yeah, that about sums it up. Okay. Okay. We'd better figure out who the remaining five are quick. How should we go about looking for them? There's no point in searching blindly without a lead. Let's focus on other things for now. Tracking down Nejima may lead us to the other curse bearers, too. I love when you do that little side wiggle. Ah, 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 ah. Oh? It's funny, because the way it's rigged, like, I'm like, I'm like leaning my head, it, I'm, it, I'm kind of like leaning my body in the opposite direction. Like, I'm leaning my head. Rugged hello. <laughs> this is Pokey Game! But we're, there's not so many jump scares anymore. That, that kind of front-loaded the beginning with it. Either way, he should be our top priority. He's like a big time serial killer from 20 years ago. Ah! Ah! I'm having a great time, <laughs> and I hydrated. All right. <laughs> Come on, y'all. At 10.45, I got to scoot. Yo, talent. They're so talented. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I also want to look a little more into Yoshimi. I've got a feeling there's some connection there. She's going to fat battle the giant robots or whatever. Oh, yeah, boss. Sounds like we got our work cut out for Rose. 
I asked around Sumida's Community Safety Bureau, where Yoshimi was stationed. It seems like he was investigating the apparent suicide of a girl named Michio Shiraishi. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard about that. He was trying to determine whether it was really a suicide. Looking into the height of the building, the force of the impact, or wounds, all that. He must have suspected some kind of foul play because he ordered a full investigation. But he'd already been deemed a suicide, and his superiors told him not to go stirring things up. Huh, what was the evidence? Well, according to the report I found on a desk last night, the body was found at the foot of a building, a ways away from the road. There was no evidence of vehicular collision, so it was ruled a suicide, but... But he thought there was more to it. Yes, a truck or other flat-faced vehicle traveling at high speeds could have inflicted similar damage. In other words, sometimes... Ruby! Ruby! Hello! <laughs> Ow! How dare. Hello! How are you, Ruby? It's very good to see you. In other words, sometimes a traffic accident can look an awful lot like a fool. But there's a chance this wasn't a suicide. What a terrible way to go. There were no brake marks on the road, meaning it could have been a hit and run. Rugs was throwing shit I wanted to. Throw it! Throw it! Throw everything! Throw up. If you want. I won't. If you if you gotta. You got food poisoning? The right call. <laughs> I'm like, ah! I'm like going crazy today. I'm very tired. <laughs> I did that the other day. No! I'm sorry. But it was the right call because now you don't have food poisoning, probably. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I can't, I can't know for sure. <laughs> the vehicle would have hit without her, hit her without slowing down at all. Zara with the resub. Stuck doing some under the table work. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hell yeah. Get it. This is turning into quite the grisly case. But the vehicle couldn't have come out from a collision like that unscathed. Exactly! So I asked the traffic bureau to keep an eye out for any vehicles with frontal damage. But I haven't heard back from them yet. I don't think they're looking very hard. But we've got no proof. That said, if it was a traffic accident rather than a suicide, it's possible that someone silenced Yoshimi because he was on the verge of discovering the truth. That's true. You have to give me a kissy face, but I'm doing this voice and nobody believes me. You think the driver is the one who did it? Who did him in? Not quite. Yoshimi had already talked to the forensics. Two, two forensics in the traffic bureau, right? His death wouldn't have covered things up. You're right on that. Even if the suicide was a cover-up for a hit and run, it doesn't seem like enough reason to kill a cop. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's right. I'm related, but I got something else too. I managed to get a hold of the Michio Shirashi's address. Yoshimi went there a bunch over the course of his investigation. Might be a good idea for us to drop by, too. Good thinking. Hopefully that'll give us some more leads. All right, let's move on to the next topic. In the menu, in the menu situation. Remember the girl Yoshimi met the other day? With the day he... Remember the girl Yoshimi met with the day he died? One, he told me, Okuda. <laughs> ah, hello! Community safety didn't have any contact information for her on hand. Not even an address. Well, they had her parents' information, but when I called, they said they hadn't heard from her in a month. A month. Lots of family issues from the sound of it. They even said they didn't want anything to do with her anymore. That said, she still goes to school once in a while, so we might be able to find her there. Are you at work, Av? Heck yeah. Make a, make a, make a Trenta. Make a big old Trenta Benta. A Trento Bento. <laughs> Not sure we really have the time for a stakeout right yet. But you could be a key witness. Can't we have community safety tracker down for us? We can ask, but it might be tricky to get it done to do. For starters, coming out of high school is close to do. <laughs> ah, because of the teacher that died? That's right. Hydrate! I can do that. I'll take a big loud sip like I was taking earlier. Hold on, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Delicious. Tea. I love beverages. Bubba Wallace, I love you! <laughs> no, that's beautiful. It's excellent. It's there for a reason. That's a very large and loud sip, and it was definitely a real sip of tea. It was, I was definitely real. I did it. I wouldn't fake it. I couldn't. I couldn't. How could I do that? 
Hold on, let me take another sip. Why isn't that sound alert popping up? Stop it. Get some help. Well, I couldn't have timed that better if I tried. <laughs> okay, here we go. What a good day, y'all. <laughs> All right, but if it's not something we can do today, we might have to forget about it. Let's move on, then. <laughs> Tell me everything. I got some information about Yoshimi's fiance from Community Safety. Her name is... Uh, Mayu Cho Chozawa, 27 years old. She works as a beautician in the area. Look, I even managed to get a picture of her. She sure is a beauty. But, dog. <laughs> but, oh boy, here it comes. But what? Community Safety hasn't been able to contact her since Yoshimi died. Not by phone or at her house. In other words, no response. Dead silence. Dead silence. You couldn't have worded that any other way, bud. There it is. Can't things just be easy for once? <laughs> Who is she? Where'd you get this picture? How did you get that? It's definitely starting to look suspect. A crime of passion, perhaps? Uh, it's fairly common for people to be killed by a lover or spouse. But Yoshimi is well-liked, and they had been together for over ten years. You never know. Things can be different behind closed doors. That's very true. I guess so. But we'll have to consider the opposite scenario, too. Could be that the same person who was out for Yoshimi is after his fiance as well. She could be in danger. Right, either way, I think she's important to the case. HQ already has people looking for her. We'll know as soon as she's found. <clears throat> you gotta give me a kissy face, bud. HQ has mobilized a search unit for Nejima. But so far, we haven't received any word. Guessing he wasn't at home or work? <clears throat> Excuse me. About that, apparently he vacated his last known address a week ago. Never ending, hello. Serious? So we have no idea where he lives? It gets worse. I checked in with the factory he was working at. They told me he was only there for a month before he quit. Star, hello, hello, how are you? Hold on a second. You're telling me nobody caught that? Well, I had the same thought, so I spoke to his probation officer. Turns out he'd been doing house visits and interviews, but never bothered checking on his workplace. He also said he'd lost track of Nejima when he moved to a new place. Jeez, that's just sloppy. I'd heard they're giving parole to just about anyone these days because they're running out of room in the prisons. Which also means there aren't enough probation officers to go around. Dude's probably overworked. So Nejima got to fuck about unsupervised. God damn it. That asshole, that asshole is annoyingly good at faking remorse or insanity or whatever the situation calls for. Back when I arrested him all those years ago, just talking to him left a bad taste in my mouth. He's probably hiding under a false name, which will make it hard to track him down. That explain why he so brazenly made contact. That asshole, he's mocking us. Well, for now, the paperwork to circulate his name and mugshot is being filed. That's gonna take way too long. We only have until dusk. He said he's basically gonna murder, like, hundreds of people with his curse. He's got a curse stone, y'all, at dusk, because he can't do it during the daylight hours, because that's the rules. <laughs> Speaking of Nejima... Yeah? Did you manage to reach your daughter? It'd be best to put her into a product protective custody as soon as possible. He also threatened this guy's daughter because he was the cop that caught him 20 years ago. Not yet. I can't reach her. They called, but she's not picking up. Wasn't home when they went to the house, either. That's not good. Does that mean she never came home? And why weren't you the one trying to reach her? A clip! Oh, my goodness. Post it in the Discord. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up. I don't have all her contact info, all right. Damn, she really doesn't trust you, huh? Either way, I told her mother that it was an emergency and we'd send an officer to find her and get her to safety. She was real reluctant, but I got her to agree. We're a 10 minute break to get that. I appreciate you. Bye off. Good luck. I guess that explains why you got divorced. But if you, her former father, can't find her, then how the hell did Najima do it? Former, huh? <laughs> that cuts deep. <laughs> Yikes, sorry, it kind of just slipped out. I'm sort of an idiot. Anyways. <laughs> I suspect it has something to do with this curse echo. Like a topic already, huh? He said his curse could kill a lot of people in a short time. It may even allow him to act from a distance. I see. A one-sided read. What was the story about again? Something about a man stalking a woman who goes insane and chops her up. There's a kissing face! There it is! 
<laughs> he's gay, he goes, mmm, mmm. <laughs> he's like, mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> that's why he has this voice, everybody. Because <laughs> he, he was constantly doing this the first time we saw him. And now he would stop doing it for a while. All right, one of the more gruesome of the seven mysteries. Nope. As for Dejima's whereabouts, all we can do is throw more people at it until we find something. I'll check in with HQ frequently to see if we've got any updates. And that's about it! Arr! <laughs> Shall we continue our investigation? We could go to Kamigata High School to look for into Hitomi Okuda or to Miyochi Shirashi's house to find more about... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's leave this place. Been up all night gathering information. Must be nice to be young and have that kind of energy. But I'm glad to have him on my side to give me a chance to rest up. We need a kissy face comfy emote. Oh my god. <laughs> you know not what you ask. <laughs> you know not what you have wrought. <laughs> With Star Spice in the chat, if you ask for any emote. <laughs> It's just gonna get made. <laughs> okay, can I think about it? I know you will, Star! I have no doubt in my mind that you'll do it just without even me asking you to do it. <laughs> you know my cozy one, the bats? That's, oh, that's cute. That's very cute. <laughs> There's a lot we need to do, but not a lot we can do. This ain't looking good. We gotta run out of time. We're gonna run out of time if we don't do something. Gotta keep Okay, let's move then. Oh, okay. All right, so now we have unlocked more stuff. I, it's sort of rough. I kind of want to go in time order, but I also, well, let's just go in time order. This, this, Yako's one is the least interesting of the three to me right now, Um, but that could change. Let's go. All right. Uh, So she made it home safely, but she isn't sure how to proceed with the curse. Where is about it? Right passes. Asking you shall receive. <laughs> Yakko's home. This is Yakko from Animaniacs. Oh, good morning, Yakko! Huh? Yakko, rise and shine! You're standing straight up and everything. Uh-huh. You're up! Oh, it's morning? Um, I... Are you okay? Can you remember your name? Uh, duh, I'm... I'm the specter of the spirit board. I'm Yakko. Yes, I'm Yakko... Sakazaki. Praise the cheese. But it seems like you're fully awake. Oh, Mio, thanks for last night. Was everything okay? Yep, still alive. I couldn't dispel the curse echo or learn the identity of who used it, but I managed to at least get away. But in that situation, it's the best you could hope for. I'm sorry I got you involved in something so dangerous. I meant to look for you as soon as the sun rose, but I just, was just so dang old sleepy. I got so dang old tired. I can't even remember when I fell asleep. It's okay. It's only natural to be exhausted after what you went through. Besides, I also feel bad that you've been wrapped up in all this. It's supposed to be my job to prevent that from happening. Oh yeah, you said something about that last night. She's a little suspicious. Just who are you exactly, Mio? Uh, um, well, the truth is I've been trained in having, in things having to do with the supernatural. Huh? You mean like you can learn that kind of stuff like you would with flower arranging? I had quite the eventful childhood. Demons, monsters, monster demons, you know. Oh, that sounds like it must have been tough. Yes, it would take a long time to explain, so let's leave it at that for now. <laughs> let's shut up about it. Let's stop talking about it. As fate would have it, I ended up as the apprentice, or maybe more like assistant, to a notable paranormal expert. Schools have always had more paranormal disturbances because young people tend to be more susceptible to these things. I gotta hydrate. <laughs> I'm sent to schools that may experience something paranormal and put a stop to it before it happens. Hell yeah, Star. Wow, that's amazing. So it's like a part-time job you do while also being a student? Well, I do help to maintain public order, but it's all part of my training, so I don't get any money. Oh, you've got it rough then, but still, that really is amazing. You were so cool when you faced off against the evil spirit. I never know if I should be happy when you compliment me like that. 
But anyways, that's why it's up to me to resolve any paranormal issues at the school. And why I'm going to look into all the- into, into the cause of all this. But for now, let's head to school. Let's get our learn on. Yeah. Oh, do you have your crew stone? Now that it's daytime and its power is diminished, I should be able to hold on to it. Want to give it a try? Right, I do have it, but... Yako. Is it really so wrong? Trying to bring uh, Michio back, I mean? She's got murderous intent. You have to kill a lot of people to fill your curse stone so that you can uh, complete the rite of resurrection, which is supposed to bring somebody back from the dead. That is what we are told. That is what we are told the rules are. We have not seen this in action, though. We've seen the curse stones kill people, lots of people, so that part's for sure real. Excuse me, but we don't know about them. I can't approve of it. The right may seem like a dream come true, but if it involves taking the lives of other people, then... Yeah, true. <laughs> I want to make sure this whole ritual ends without anyone getting hurt. That's what I believe, and I'll put it before anything else. <laughs> I, like, I don't know what this face is. Why is everyone making that face? I'm sorry, but is it okay if I hold on to it? Yako! I promise I won't use the curse, no matter what. But maybe there's some other way. I just have this feeling that I shouldn't give up on the possibility just yet. That said, I'll help you. Even if it's even if it's to stop the curses. For the Michio that still exists within me, I'll settle things so that we can move forward. Okay, whatever. But if you feel in danger, you can give me the curse stone. At any point. Just just say the word and I'll and I'll definitely I'll take it. I'll take it off your hands. I definitely won't kill anyone with it. That would that would be wrong. I definitely will just hold on to it for you. Right, thank you, Mio. Okay then, let's go! Share the load, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's a ghost. <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? I thought it unusually noisy. There's a big group of people and police in front of the school. Did something happen? If the police are here, there must have then something must have. I'll go ask. Thanks. This isn't good. Huh? What happened? Um, don't panic, okay? But everybody died. Everyone's dead. The first teacher who came to work this morning found something. Uh, okay. Mr. Janucci was found dead in the middle of the school grounds. Now, Mr. Janucci, let me... He was... Um... Yeah, okay. So, interesting. So, here's what we know about this guy. They might about to be telling this. So, they were at... Th these two girls that we're playing as right now, they were at, at the school at late last night. Using a homemade Ouija board, basically, and um, to try and talk to the spirit of the dead girl, but it wasn't her, it was somebody else. And this, we found this guy, uh, Kohei Jonucci, talking to some other student, like, way after I was just the two of them in the, in the high school. Extremely suspicious, extremely, extremely suspicious. Additionally, um, w the cops talked to this guy, and he was like, hey... I'm in danger. You got to protect me from this dead girl. But he didn't say it was this dead girl. But he definitely named... Um... Where is she? He definitely named... The the, the girl who, who quote-unquote committed suicide. Um... But we don't know the particulars. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Um... Yeah, so he, so that guy that, that just died, I guess, named her and to ask the cops to, like, hey, I need you to keep me safe from her. Uh, but she's been dead a week, so, like, that's all very strange. Um, we don't know what's going on. Ah! What? They're closing the school for today. But that's not all. I didn't know of this either, but since I didn't watch the morning news, but rumors are spreading that a number of bodies were found nearby. What? There, there's no way. Why? Could it be? Because of the curse? We don't know enough to say. From what I heard, Mr. Dojuchi's body was in the middle of the grounds. But his body was covered in bruises like he'd fallen from somewhere high. Weird. Taking into account his unnatural death and the timing, it's very likely that it has something to do with the curse. You're saying someone used their curse on him last night? 
Seems like it, doesn't it? <clears throat> but that's so scary. <laughs> I, I know it's scary, girl! What do you want from me? Yeesh, the curses really do kill people. And someone used it. Shh, keep your voice down, okay? What would happen if another curse bearer heard you? Ugh, sorry. What did I learn? Oh, okay. He's dead. Person of interest, he dead. He, he dead. He dead, though. I wish we had a little more information, but they've locked up the front gate. Maybe we could sneak in through the back entrance. <laughs> that person over there. Is it Anitomi Okuda? Oh, what? You're right. That's unusual. I know her. Oh, but she was at school last night, too. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's not her. Wait, wait, wait. That's, uh... We don't know anything about her, except that she was the girl talking to the guy who just died. Uh, okay. She must know something about Mr. Donucci. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, Mia, wait for me. Woo, 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 woo. I like her hair. This game takes place vaguely in the 80s, but it doesn't ever say for sure. Hey, I'm proud of you, G-Mama. Hell yeah. Yeah. Exciting. What is Satomi's voice? Let's give her like a... Uh, we'll give her like a valley girl voice. Huh? So you're telling me the two of you are the ones at the school last night? Like a like a lumpy space princess. No sense hiding it then. Plus, I owe you one, me. I'll tell you everything I know. Thank you. <laughs> she owes you? Oh, right. Yeah. Right after I transferred here, there was a bit of trouble. She gave me one of those, uh, what was it? Oh, actor sazans. Ah, oh, so that's what it was. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Did you hear about Mr. Janucci? Heard about it. I've known about it since last night. I saw that asshole bite it on the school grounds myself. What? You saw it happen? Tell us about it. What happened exactly? Don't really know myself. It was pitch black. What can I tell you? What I can tell you. It was almost done. Probably around three. Almost dawn. Time is dawn in Japan. He started freaking out all of a sudden. Ran out to the grounds like something was chasing him. Then screamed. Ah, somebody help me. Forgive me, Michio. <laughs> something like that when he was running around. Michio? He mentioned Michio? Wait, that was Yako. Was there anyone else on the grounds? It was too dark for me to see from where I was. But for just a second, I thought I saw a girl in a school uniform with her hair and braids. Oh? I didn't go out to make sure, but it could have been nothing for all I know. Then I heard him begging for his life like, I was wrong and I'll do anything. Then all of a sudden, his arms and legs snapped, even though he was just standing there. <coughs> Blech. His arms and legs broke without anything being done to him? You seem <coughs> very calm about this. He fell over and quit moving, so I thought I'd better get out of there. Then he croaked. That's all I saw. I see. But, but from what you've told us, it almost sounds like Michio's ghost chased Mr. Genocchi down and killed him. Hell, if I know anything about that, I'm just telling you what I heard him say. <clears throat> Genocchi's death. Did you tell that story to the police? <sighs> nope, and I ain't gonna. Can't count on them for shit. Not like they believe such an insane story anyways. Right. But there must be at least one person in the police worth trusting, right? Yeah, I guess. There was uh, this one cop who always got on my case about stuff. But he died just the other day. Oh, this was the informant, maybe? Oh, I don't think I realized that. Oh, he did? Sorry to hear that. Everyone I get involved with me ends up dead. Maybe I really am cars. Pisses me off. You've got it all wrong. The spirit that possessed you wasn't that kind of spirit. Huh? It wasn't? Yeah, that was just an unfortunate coincidence. Though I am sure that it was hard enough for you. That's all I know about that asshole's death. Hey, Mio, I've been thinking something. The way she described it reminded me of something. The way Mr. Janucci dies, it sounds a lot like how Michio died. Ah. Of course, I didn't see it myself, but... The state Michio's body was in, it was like she had fallen from high up. Could they have been killed by the same curse? 
I don't think so. The curses of the seven mysteries hadn't manifested when she died. And if we can trust what the spirit board said, then Michio died in an accident. Oh, right. That's all I know about that asshole's death. Okay. He told me you were possessed by... He told me you were possessed by some kind of evil spirit? I don't understand it all too well myself. What I can say for sure as... Thanks to me, all the weird symptoms that were happening to me went away. Yep, some people are born with a natural sensitivity to the paranormal. They tend to end up isolated as they struggle to relate to the people around them. Good luck, G-Mama. Have so much fun. They also tend to draw spirits to them naturally. This can cause strange symptoms that don't they don't understand, like headaches, muscle stiffness, and hallucinations, even memory problems. I'm sure it must have been very hard. So that's how it works, huh? People also have their personality taken over when possessed too. It is possible with spirits who have a very close relationship to their target, like siblings or a parent and child. But you almost never hear about people being taken over completely. It is Wednesday, my dude, that's true. Ah! It's when the two parties aren't in sync that those negative effects can start to appear. Hydrate. <laughs> so the seances or whatever you see on TV are all bogus? Not quite. There are mediums and diviners, diviners who can align their minds with the spirits they call. Now there are people on TV who are just putting on a performance. Ah. There are people in, who in life had extremely powerful spirit sense or a deep connection with this person. But even they shouldn't be able to completely take over the person they possess. And even if they could, It'd only be enough to pressure them to choose certain behaviors. It wouldn't be unusual for them to do on their own to begin with! Hmm, but if that's the case, wouldn't you not know if you were choosing that behavior on your own will or not? Hence why there are lots of cases where people don't even realize they're possessed. Though the spirit may have influence, may influence the behavior and memories of the host. The deeper their connection in life, the easier it is for that to occur! I see. Getting possessed by a spirit is pretty complicated, huh? <laughs> It must have been tough for you being possessed for so long, he told me. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever might happen to me doesn't make any difference. Me being able to see spirits and stuff has nothing to do with how things ended up like this. Yeah, it's not like being able to see them is your fault either. The same goes for me. Maybe it's just something we have to live with. Ah! <laughs> Hello, unknown. <laughs> I think you have a knack for it yourself, Yakko! A knacko, Yakko! Get it? Yako, do you get it? I'm just I'm just having fun with like your name and like the other word I said. Maybe not. Maybe now it's not the time for a joke. I bet you can <laughs> you can see it too with the little chaining. Uh, I think I may pass. So that's why you do the job you do, huh, Mio? I thought she was a weirdo when she showed up all of a sudden saying she was going to exercise me. If you hadn't said anything, I probably would have knocked your lights off. You tried to perform an exorcism on her without telling her anything? Uh, you see, in my experience, most people don't understand, no matter how much I explain. They only accept my explanation after they see the results. Huh, I guess that makes sense. You told me last night, before you witnessed Mr. Chinucci collapse, can I ask what you and he were doing in the classroom? No. <laughs> I don't want it. You're gonna tell the cops? Oh, right. With everything that happened with Mr. Jonucci, they'll suspect you if we told them we saw you with him that night. Anytime anything, something, anytime something happens with someone like me, all those shitty adults are jumping at conclusions. We understand. I won't tell them. We wouldn't have been able to kill him anyway. If you say so, then I don't mind telling you about it. Oh, well, last night. That piece of shit Janucci called me over here, acting like he was gonna attack me or something. What? How terrible. That is pretty terrible. Whatever, I'm glad he's dead. He had a coming. Calling people worthless and a cancer on society when he doesn't know shit about them. That asshole was always one was, all, was one all, was the one always acting like scum, if you ask me. Is that so? Could you tell us in more detail why he called you out in the middle of the night? It's hard to explain. Where to start? Start at the beginning. 
Uh, okay. What do you mean by Mr. Danucci's acting like scum? Was he doing something bad? You know Michio Shirashi, right? The girl who got herself? Huh? Michio? I don't know everything, but that creep of a teacher had some dirt on her. And he was using it to blackmail her, call her up after school, and make her do whatever I wanted. What? W what do you mean, when you say whatever he wanted? I'll leave it to your imagination. Nothing that the couple model students like you would ever get involved in. No way. How, what do you mean by dirt? I don't know anything about this. How could I have not known about this? Yako, I know how you feel, but try to calm down. Calm down! You're not guts acting like you were her friend. Danucci really did a number on both Michio's body and soul. She probably felt she couldn't tell anyone, like she had to suffer alone. No, oh, how terrible. Artist Mark, hello, hello. How are you? It's me, up close. Wow. <laughs> hey, Toby, how do you know about this? I just happened to walk in on it. I know the spots around school people go to when they want to stay out of sight. He ran off in a panic when I yelled at him, asking what he was doing. Walked in on it. I couldn't just leave her alone, looking like she was about to cry, so I snuck around for a bit. I stuck around for a bit. You look so good, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you! Wait, I'll show you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> she told me everything about happening in Woodsparks. Probably figured I wasn't the type to spread that stuff around. But she never asked me for my help. She told me that she was fine and to keep it a secret. Michio, Michio, why? She probably thought she just had to grit her teeth till it was through. She was naive. I tried to tell her that if you give guys like that an inch, they'll take a mile. She kept saying how it was her punishment. She was soft. No. Ultimate cat boy. I am the ultimate. Ah! <laughs> of course, Jonichi didn't change. He kept doing what he was doing. I don't understand either of them, but that's as much as I was involved. And then she killed herself. Nothing I could do about it now. He told me, if you knew about it, then why didn't you... Try to say it's my fault. She told me not to say anything. She told me I was fine. So what the hell more responsibility do I have other than what I already done? Yako, there's no point in blaming Kitomi. Michio, why? So here's the deal also. We have reason to believe. So, all right. This is, I'm catching everybody up on the, on the plot from last time. So, uh, where is our third play? I wish they had pictures on the sides here. Um, what is her name? What is the other, is this her? Oh my god. No, it's Harui. So, Harui had an 11 year old son who was kidnapped about a year ago and then was found dead. So, the cops sort of found out, or I, I it's, maybe she found out. Um, th she's working with this detective, this detective, who is a joy to voice act, let me tell you. Um, uh, they sort of found out that, like, hey, maybe a woman, like, convinced her kid, like, oh, it's okay. Because every all the cops are looking for some male abductor, some adult male abductor. But they, they seem to think that maybe, um... That, uh, the... Oh, God. Everybody's names. But maybe the, the girl who died, her. I had her. Um, that maybe she was the one that did that under, um, this new, the new guy, the new dead guy's, this guy's, like, he was the mastermind behind it, and he had this dirt. So that, we don't know that that's what happened, but that is what, that is kind of a running theory in, in one of these storylines. There is a lot going on in this game. So, I'm happy to... Keep doing little recaps. <laughs> Did you hear what this dirt was? Nope, never heard what it was. But from the sound of it, he'd been blackmailing her since about a year ago. See, about a year ago. For that long? The dick probably caught her doing something she shouldn't have had. She looked well behaved, but there's more to a person than meets the eye, you know. There must have been some reason. Dunno, got nothing to do with my... So, last night, how did it start? All right. Remember that noisy, that nosy cop I mentioned who was always on my case? 
He died at the former Yasuda Gardens a couple days ago. Yoshimi was his name. He was part of the juvenile division. He didn't look like a cop at all. Real tough guy, but good at looking out for fucks. So he was only he was the only one I could talk to. Ah, oh, so there was something like that with the police. Too bad he ended up dying. Oh, another thing. One time he suddenly introduced his fiance to me. It was hilarious seeing a big guy like that act like a shy little kid all of a sudden. She told me she was there, she was like me when she was my age, and that she was on my side. It must have been a terrible loss for her, too. Yeah, I do feel a little bad for her when I think about how sad she must be. And I. I saw him at the gardens the night he died. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Whenever I would get worked up over something, Yoshimi always took me straight to that park. I think it makes me think of that one girl in fish. I don't know what fish hooks is. I'm, I feel like I'm doing a lumpy space princess, really. Kind of. But it's also been a million years since I've seen Adventure Time. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Then he'd listen to whatever it was I was pissed off about. That day, he called me over there like usual. But something seemed off about him, like he was worried about something. Worried about something? Yeah, he asked me for a favor, too. It was pretty unusual. A favor? What kind of favor? He had to be a weird talisman and asked me to hold on to it for him. Talisman? Yeah, just a normal good luck charm. I figured if that's it, then sure, I'll take it. I have it with me now. But that wasn't all. He then told me that he wanted me to look for a talisman Michio Shirashi had that looked like this one. Huh? Michio? What does she have to do with this? Yoshimi had been meeting up with uh, and talking with her. While they were together, he had noticed that she had a special talisman or something. But apparently, Michio always avoided the subject. Talisman that Michio had. She's doing a real anime recap thing that we don't need to be doing right now. He knew that I knew her, so that's why he asked me, he said. Could there have been something that Michio couldn't tell even the police about? I know things at home were a little complicated. From what I heard, Michio was keeping her mouth shut about what Jonichi was doing to her. Hard to talk with the cops when someone's got dirt on you. And I didn't squeal at nothing on Michio either. Michio, what was it that had such a strong grip on you? So basically, Yoshimi didn't just have his eye on Michio, but her talisman too. But after she died, he didn't know where it ended up. Suspicious. So since I knew her from school, he wanted me to look into it for her. Is there something special about the two talismans? I wonder why he gave it to you. Well, if I know, when I looked inside of it, there was just a weird kind of grimy scrap of wood. So you've seen inside it. But from the way he was acting, it seemed important to him somehow. But to be honest, what he was asking is such a pain in the ass, I figured he had to be serious about it. Oh, and since she, he died right after that. Yeah, he even said to me, if anything happens to me, take those two talismans. Give them to a guy named Nagago Nakagoshi at the police department. Nagagoshi. Is that, is that me? I don't know that character. I think. Okay. Okay. Knowing what I know now, he probably felt that something was gonna happen up. Hmm, Nakagoshi? Huh, do you know him, Mio? No, I've just heard the name, I think. Oh, it really is a Nakagoshi. That's a relief, at least. Anyway, it didn't feel right just ignoring a dead guy's last request. It told me. Yeah? A talisman, would you mind if I had a look at it? Sorry, but I don't trust you all that much yet. It's important to me. Uh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> so, last night you were looking for the talisman Michio had. Yeah. And I figured that piece of garbage teacher would know the most about Michio. I asked him yesterday afternoon if he knew anything about her talisman. He gave me some cryptic responses like, I can't talk about it right now. Come to school tonight. He even gave me the code to lock the uh, to the lock on the back entrance. He seemed pretty willing to give it up, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's used for secret meetings before. Yuck, I can only imagine. Gross. Icky. We climbed over the front gate to get in. So yeah, we met up in the classroom in the middle of the night. But something he said made... But nothing he said made any sense. Like that I was really Michio and stuff like that. He went on and on about it. Like, it was my fault. But, 
He went he went on and on about it. About how it was my fault and that if only I hadn't been around or something. He grabbed a hold of me, breathing heavily. Eep! Were you okay? Yeah, that's right, when you two showed up. I was able to get away while Tonucci was freaking out. My gosh, good thing you got away. So it's really all thanks to you that I got away. But I didn't get any info on the talismans, so the whole thing was sort of a bust. Afterward, I was wondering what you two were doing up to, so I hid nearby. That's when I saw you and old man Ashiyama talking, and then Meow showed up. Oh, you did? That's also why I saw Jonuchi come back outside and bite it. I see. So you were the only one to look for Michio's talisman. You were only here to look for that. I was done to fall for that creep Jonuchi's trap, so is it? I could have got a lot worse, but I lucked out. All right. What you described does sound like Michio killed Mr. Janucci, since she did have a reason to hate him after all. No way, you mean like that was really her ghost, like for real? Those who die bearing strong resentment or regret can occasionally become spirits, either bound to a place or- <laughs> Ow! That was Fern, that was loud. Hi Fern. <laughs> Why do a wave emote where you can just attack me? <laughs> that startled me. That was like all the noise right at once. Um, Fern knows a trick. Bypass the situation. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. However, it'd, be, it'd usually be impossible for them to kill the living. Most don't have that kind of power. But it is possible they could possess someone close to them to act on those lingering regrets. Whoa. Huh, I wonder if that's what happened. All right, then. All right, then, supposing what the spirit board said is true, and Michio's death was an accident, then she must have had some regrets. If she really hadn't given up on the living, that is. I don't think she was the kind of girl who would just give up on the matter, what, no, no matter what the situation. I don't really know, but she didn't seem like she had something tormenting her so much that she'd kill herself. And that's all I know, Hopper. I still gotta look for the talisman. Sure, thank you, Hitomi. Oh, and if you two find out anything about Michio's talisman. We'll be sure to let you know. Thanks. Oh, can we get your contact info? Where can we normally find you? Right, I'm not home most of the time. Usually I'm on a front's place. Here's the phone number. It's a landline. It's the 80s. <laughs> Inky, hello, how are you? Thanks, we'll call her if we need to talk with you. And, um... What is that? You're easier to talk to than I imagined. I was kind of scared at first, but not anymore. Shut up, you're the one avoiding me, Baka. Stupid, idiot. Anyway, catch you later, and don't die out there, okay? Thanks, we'll be careful. We'll do our best. I'm doing great. I've been waiting to play this game all week. And now I get to play this game, and I'm very excited. Alright then. We got a lot of new information. Sounds like Mr. Donucci was killed by a curse, just like we thought. Load, hello! Which means there is a curse bearer at the school. Oh, oh, oh. This is, I'm doing her voice wrong. Which means there's a curse bearer at the school. Multiple, in fact. Multiple? You think so? Yes, the curse echo was uh, what we, exper we experienced in the school. <laughs> and the one who killed Mr. Donucci seemed to be different. The people in the school at the time, other than us, were... Mr. Donucci, Hitomi, and old man Ashiyama, who you ran into. And this guy's definitely bad because when I was like, hey, look for look for Mio, then Mio died. But when I went back and redid it, and I didn't tell him that, Mio lived. So, you know she was pretty, but the voice you gave her. <laughs> You're almost done with the magic clown, y'all. I'm excited to see that. I was thinking it would be it would be among them, but. But there was one more person. Hitomi saw a girl in a school uniform with braids. From what Hitomi was saying, it doesn't seem like she's the one. Mr. Jonucci was pretty suspicious, though. If he were a curse bearer, it would certainly explain why he was killed. Right. That's why I say there are multiple. Oh, right. Oh, right. The person who killed Mr. Jonucci would have to be one, too. Which means it must be either the mysterious girl or old man Ashiyama. Yeah, we should certainly be careful of them. That said, the mysterious girl and the fact that Mr. Tonucci thought it was Michio that was attacking him has me wondering. Of course, I doubt Michio herself was actually there, but... 
Oh, I just remembered. I also saw Mr. Arashi outside the main gate last night. You did? It's likely he is involved with the curses given that he's the one doing research on the Rite of Resurrection. So we'll have to be careful of old man Ashiyama and Mr. Arashi. I want to believe that not all curse bearers will be hostile, but... As for what we do now... I'd like to find who is responsible for the Feast of Shadows that set this off and how they did it. I don't think we'll be able to end this without stopping it at its, at its source. Oh, that makes sense. In which case, next, what should we do exactly? We'll need to talk with Mr. Irashi. He definitely knows something. It should be safer during the day, so I think we should try to look for him. Got it. I'll help in any way I can. But the school is closed. I wonder where he could be. He's probably just at home. Stupid. Be stupid. Oh, where to go then? All right, hell yeah. We're gonna go looking for stuff, but I'm gonna take a very quick bathroom break. Y'all, I'll be right back. I still need to set up. Um, I'm gonna turn on music because this has no music for some reason. One moment. I love you. Ah! Hello. I have returned. How is everyone today? That's a great question. I got more tea. <sighs> I'm ready. Oh my god. Okay. I would be Pikachu, just by the way. I love Pikachu. I know that's a basic answer, but I love Pikachu. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had an emote. You had an emote ready and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I guess, yeah, let's go. So that's the high school. So let's go from top to bottom. We'll go to the bridge. Yeah, it's iced tea. I got iced tea. I make a cold brew iced tea every night, and it's it's extremely delightful. I'll tell you. There's a person back there. I don't like those ghosts. Sounds good for you. And so... Miyoko... Kuru Suzu and Yako Sakazaki decided on their next location to investigate. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, let's go up. Let's go to the, uh, the, we'll, we'll go to, uh, how are we? Chair, here you go. I'll just... I'll just take it. I'll just spit it on my monitor. <laughs> okay, so uh, all we know, so this guy was sent to look for curse stones. Um, there's a whole deal where like sh she's like, I'll kill if I need to, but he's like, if you kill, I'm not working with you. Delicious, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
of the magical pet I gave you. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll probably get some cap stuff with her. But all we saw is that she went to bed, and then there was, like, a whole scene where it was just, like, a two-minute segment where she just went inside, which seemed a little strange to me. But I guess here she is. And I, here's Richter. Good morning, ma'am. How are you feeling? Um, I'm fine. I'm, I hope we can make good progress today. Can I have a lemon in yours? Yes, of course. How's your curse stone looking? I haven't felt anything from it since sunrise. Interesting. It's possible its powers can only be unleashed at night, then. That aside, why are you so late this morning? There are unfortunately some things that can't be investigated while the world slumbers. But I did get some research done in what limited time I had. Very well, let's talk. We could go inside, but let's just stand here. By the way, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. What's that? Our current plan is to steal a curse stone but all that's already absorbed soul dregs, but... I'm wondering if it would suffice to not steal, but rather negotiate with a curse bearer and have them use the right for our purposes. Oh? I mean, I suppose that would accomplish the same, but do you think it's possible? So long as we have- as we offer compensation, it may prove much easier than you'd expect. Compensation? Cash, for instance. That wouldn't be off the table for a family as rich as it, uh, Shig Shigimas, would it? Of course, why, any amount would be fine if it'd get the job done. I won't let monetary matters lead me to regrets the way it did back with the ransom. Okay, with that option on the table, let's figure out our strategy. Do you have a curse bearer with whom we can negotiate in mind? Not yet. Surprisingly, it seems the other curse bearers have, have not been that proactive about collecting soul dregs. Did you see the news this morning? No, I haven't. Overnight, three mysterious deaths were reported in this area. They've yet to announce the identities of the bodies found. But they've been nicknamed the Hojo Serial Killings. It's garnered quite some attention on the streets. Oh my. Only three? That's what I thought. Even if the victims were curse bearers, just one or two wouldn't be enough soul dregs. And for what those curse stones are capable of, a mere three victims seems a little on the low side. With this little activity all through the, ni all through the night, the curse bearers must be a cautious bunch. <clears throat> What's holding them back? Are we not all after the power of resurrection? There may still be some undiscovered victims, but it doesn't seem like anyone has gathered enough soul dregs yet. We might have to set up some bait to spur them into action. And then we offer them the deal. None of the curse bearers seem very proactive. I wonder if this situation could be with could be what the mastermind who kicked it all off intended. Now that's an interesting theory. You think there's someone behind all this? You mentioned hearing an agonized voice telling you to kill when you first obtained the curse stone. That doesn't sound like a coincidence to me. Someone agitated the curses in this area on purpose, and they are likely after the rite of resurrection as well. So you think so you're thinking this person is not one of the curse bearers? You've got a sharp mind, ma'am. Though it might seem obvious for the mastermind to become a curse bearer and collect soul dregs if they are after the right. This would be very risky, since as a curse bearer, then they themselves would become a target. So it'd actually be more convenient for them if the curse bearers moved less aggressively. That's right, but despite that, they've been inciting the curse bearers to commit murders. Why? Let's reconsider. Let's consider this. What if the mastermind isn't trying to collect soul dregs themselves? You mean their intention was also to steal the souls while the other curse bearers compete with each other from the start? Sitting back and observing from the sidelines is a safer course of action. Which is why I figured it best for us to attempt the same strategy. So, how should we do it? There's still reason to suspect the Mastermind could be a curse bearer themselves. To be honest, I want to keep my distance from whomever it is. There's no telling what kind of power they might possess. Whether our aim is to negotiate or steal, we'll have to outpace the Mastermind in making contact with the other curse bearers. How do you suppose we do so? At this point... <laughs> Big a hello! At this point, all we can do is search. If there's a mastermind inciting the curse bearers to collect soul dregs... Can we be sure there even is a rite of resurrection? Hi Pika, how are you? 
Good question. This ride could be nothing but a myth fabricated to spur the curse bearers into action. <laughs> Seeing as it might be for naught, do you want to give up, ma'am? Never. Understood. After all, we'll never know the truth unless we see for ourselves. I'm doing great. I'm very excited to be playing this game. But we'll do it our, we'll do it without using the curses ourselves. Okay. By the way, I met a few people who seemed like potential curse bearers last night. I did some investigating into all of them. But I only managed to get detailed information on two. You're quick. I suppose that's to be expected from an investigator extraordinaire. I appreciate the flattery. <laughs> First, there's Ayame Tono, the girl who we talked to before, though she isn't a curse bearer herself. She's a student attending T University of Art. She currently lives alone in an apartment near Midi uh, Midoricho Park. You even determined her address. You're not one to be underestimated, Mr. Investigator Extraordinaire. I called every single university with Yukio E in the curriculum, pretending to be her parent. I went around to check on her place on the way there. It doesn't seem like she returned home last night. I'm worried she might have run into some trouble. Didn't you attempt to follow her last night? I'm embarrassed to say, but I couldn't. She shook me. I couldn't keep track of her. And here I thought you were an investigator extraordinaire. I'd like to learn more about her. Would you... Lady, lady, come on. <laughs> I'd like to learn more about her, but it would take some time. She is planning to steal curse stones just like us. It's best we act carefully around her. Next is a tall man who is dressed in black. I met him near Kinshi... She... Kin, Kinshicho? Kinshicho. She stood, he stood out with the way he dressed. I managed to get some good information from him. Impressive. What can I say? He works as a secretary to Ihaku Soap's chairwoman. I believe the name is Takumi Yumiko, Yumioka. The Ihaku Soap's headquarters and factories. Yeah. Are both located in Hanjo, correct? Yes, they've been here for a while. But it's only in the past ten years that the company has shown significant growth. I remember seeing the chairwoman on the news a few years back. She seemed to be very shrewd. With the increase in sales, I assumed she'd want her factories running at full capacity. But with the harsh restrictions against industrial waste, a lot of the factories with older equipment had to be shut down. That's right. Every ten years ago, there were many complaints about chemical plants dumping waste into the river. Most companies back then were more concerned with making a profit than protecting the environment. Back then? What do you mean back then? Back now? Back forever? Come on. <clears throat> I wonder what a man working for such a company would have been up to in the middle of the night. On the way here, I stopped by the company's headquarters, but they hadn't started for the day. I should have had—I should have better luck later. Let's hope you will. Perhaps they're interested in seeing if the right would be beneficial for their product research into beauty and skincare. Ha! Ah, now that's an interesting thought. I ran into one more suspicious young man last night. This one seemed to be out collecting soul dregs, right? Oh yeah, the the professor man. Four score, an eternity ago. It's four. It's a number four. Four score. A score is twenty years for some reason. So Abraham Lincoln was just saying eighty-four years ago. <laughs> That's real. That's the truth. Here's a truth bomb for you. Oh! <laughs> Indeed, I couldn't get a good look at him, though, and I couldn't gather enough intel to properly identify him. Oh, no, this is the teacher. That's not the, the writer. Well, that's a shame. But I can make an educated guess. Oh? You know that researcher who discovered the ancient text on the right of resurrection? The one that lives near here? His name is Hideki Araishi, and the man I've met was very similar in stature. Maybe, maybe it is the researcher. Oh, my. Even he is involved? How awfully suspect. Considering his background, couldn't he be the one who initiated the whole affair? I think it's possible, yes. Which is why I decided to refrain from making contact with him for the time being. Safety first. Understandable. Of course, I want to learn more, but this isn't the right time to focus on him. In fact, the number four is associated with bad luck and death. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think especially in, in um, Japan, they... Maybe I'm misremembering a, a fact. Maybe I'm, I'm like, combining two things to make 
a new truth, a fake truth. Um, but I, I, I feel like that's they, they take that somewhat seriously in Japan, like we do with the number thirteen. I didn't know about America doing that though. That's crazy. Um, I prefer the to ascertain who else is a curse bearer. First, I'll return to Hihaku Soaps to see that man in black. Their headquarters are down by South Waragusi Street. Okay. Kidnapping. I learned something new about the criminal involved with the kidnapping. It concerns the serial killings. There was a body found at Komagata High School. The person was identified as a school teacher. His name was Kohei Jonuchi. They met with him, I think. You think he was a curse bearer? Not sure. It's possible. But regardless, this means the two people who knew the truth about the kidnapping are both dead. Hmm, just when I thought we were getting somewhere. It isn't enough to make me give up, of course. Still, we don't know anything about Michio Shirashi's residence. It'd be wise to pay it a visit. Understood. In addition to the three victims associated with the Hanjo serial killings, there's Michio Shirashi, who reportedly committed suicide, and the police officer who died at the former Yasuda Gardens. If strange deaths continue occurring like so, they're bound to inspire strange rumors. But those last two have nothing to do with the Seven Mysteries, no? It's true. Both occurred a week before the accursed situation began. Still, it cannot be ruled out. Possible that the Mastermind was involved even with those killings. How? Tell me in great detail. What if there were preliminary steps to awakening the Seven Mysteries curses? Can we really assume they're unrelated just because the timing doesn't match up? Or rather, the police officer's death is so baffling that it'd be easier if it were connected to these curses? The victim wasn't the type to be caught off guard easily. You seem to know a lot about this. I suppose we weren't strangers. My personal feelings might be wrapped up in this one too. I see. If you were to investigate this matter more, you might get a lead on the Mastermind. You're right. If we focus, if we wish to focus on the Mastermind's identity, this would be a fine starting point. Well, my hospital is connected to the university, so a lot of staff and student body are from Korea, China, and Japan. Oh, okay, interesting. I did not know that. I did not know. All right. We might even discover more deaths related to the curses on the way. We should pay attention to today's news. Well, that's all I have to report. Shall we continue with our investigation? What do you want to do? If you still can't use the curse stone, taking a walk should be a fine place to start. Right, let's go together. I want to see what's going on for myself. In that case, I trust you to decide where we should go, ma'am. Okay. Uh... Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. <sighs> we allowed to be here? We're here. This is Midoricho. This is Midoricho Park. <laughs> Ayame Tono lives around here. She wasn't in her apartment when I dropped by this morning. I wonder if it's worth checking again. Uh... This place is connected to the story of the Taiko of Tsugaru. Oh, this is not where the guy died. This is where the cops were talking originally. Not only that, Katsushika's Hisoki's home was also in this area. I don't know who that is. That might be why Ayami chose to live here. Who is that? Who are? Who am? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Nothing to look at. Now you know, I know it's half the battle. Oh, oh, oh! I thought it was a website. G.I. Joe. <laughs> Why don't I go and check out Ayami's apartment? You don't mean to speak with her, do you? No, I'd prefer to get an idea of what she's been up to. I'd like to see whether she's been home or not, just to potentially get a trace on her movements. Then be my guest. Okay, I shouldn't be alone. Am I gonna get left alone? Oh, God. Okay. I'm back, ma'am. So, nothing? I'm afraid so. She still hasn't returned. However. However? I noticed a few people who seem to be related to the police. The police force keeping watch in the area. 
I don't know if they got eyes on her apartments, but they do appear to be watching the building it's in. Interesting. You've got a sharp eye to have noticed them despite being so covert. What can I say? It's part of the job. Anyway, I meant to... I meant... It meant I had to refrain from knocking on her door or looking through her windows. I wasn't able to check her electric meter or mailbox either, unfortunately. You were planning to go that far? I mean, that's how you know, I guess. We won't be able to make much progress sticking around here. Okay. Let's go to... South Bari Yesui Street. The Hihaku Soaps headquarters are on the other side of the South Wari Gavesi Street. Pan Pan! I can sit up. Hello, how are you? They were closed when I visited this morning, but it appears things are up and running now. Uh, okay. To think such a small soap making company could grow so much in such a short amount of time. They have factories and warehouses throughout the area now. You can see why the director and now chairwoman Natsui Yamamori is called the Queen. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing excellent. We're playing a very spoopy visual novel game, but it's new, it's fresh, it's it's exciting. <laughs> uh, I'm excited about it. You mentioned that Takumi works as her secretary. That's correct. Do you think it's possible he's acting on her orders? That's exactly my thinking. A curse bearer with both money and power could certainly look at her re look at resurrection as their next prize. Negotiating with a person of that stature may prove difficult. What do you got for me? First, I need to confirm whether Takumi is the man I ran into last night. Then I'll be able to determine if he's a curse bearer. Uh, it'd be better if I go inside the headquarters alone. You should walk around, visit a cafe for some tea, perhaps. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go in. It may be a while, so feel free to find somewhere to kill time. I can wait for it to have brutal murders then. Yeah, it will ha- it has happened. And it'll happen again. <laughs> okay, good luck in there. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting. How did it go? I'll fast forward to the conclusion. I met with Takumi. There's no doubt he's the same man I saw last night. But it doesn't seem like he's a curse bearer. Hmm. But that doesn't mean he has no connections to the recent curses. He knew about the seven mysteries. He even guessed we have a curse stone of our own. Excuse me? What the hero? Oh, th this guy. I tried to approach Takumi about a fallen item after I ran into him last night. However, hey dog, hello. How are you? Oh, in my body. You said your name was Richter, correct? I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. I'm hoping you would hand over the curse stone in your possession. Curse stone, what are you on about? There's no need to play dumb with me. In fact, there's no time for it. I had all the same reason you did to think you were a curse bearer last night. And your arrival here only confirms it. You're a curse bearer, no? You're right. We lack time. I'll confess, I am a curse bearer. I possess the stone, the curse stone of the haunting clappers. I'm glad to hear the truth. Finally, this conversation is worthwhile. It is a dangerous item you hold. Give it to me. My company will take the responsibility to dispose of it. I didn't know the soap business specialized in scrubbing curses clean. It is the prerogative of Ms. Yamamori. Is that so? Assuming, uh, assuming you've obtained the curse, you understand the power it involves, no? Mrs. Ms. Yamamori possesses supernatural powers, akin to those of a god. She also has a deep love for this land, having transformed it from the pile of dirt it once was to the home of our headquarters. I'm good at work, but on your lunch break, hell yeah, what are you eating for lunch? She cannot stomach the fact that it's now the sight of these curses run rampant. So you're telling me the queen of Hihaku is a real life witch? She wouldn't appreciate being called that, mind you. There's a sorcerer by the name of Sugen Gamayodo, who's gallantly working behind the scenes, exercising spirits and the like. Go on. That being so, there are already there have already been instances of the dead coming back to life. You understand the urgency of this matter. 
These are curses we're speaking of. Tools which are used by wicked beings to possess people. The rite of resurrection is nothing but a fabrication, and to seduce the curse bearers into unspeakable action. If you truly understand what I'm talking about, you must hand over that curse stone at once. Very interesting. With that said, just how many curse stones have you acquired so far? If what you tell me is true, surely the company would have launched a large-scale search by now. He's got no emotion, this guy. Crazy. We have six. That cannot be true. Six? Whoa, I can rest at ease then. And here I thought I was at risk of being cursed. It seems we are on the same page. If that is the case, you should hand over your curse stone immediately. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not actually in my possession at the moment. Considering its importance, I've been keeping it in hiding. Jeez! Really, now? Then I'll accompany you while you retrieve it. I'm sorry, but I've got something important to attend to, but I promise I'll return with it later. Very well. Then you won't refuse to provide your address and telephone number, I presume? How prudent of you, I'll oblige. <laughs> and that's how it went. <laughs> oh! Burn! <laughs> Hi, Fern. <laughs> Look in the so. What do you mean in the server? Where? What? Tell me. Just specifics. Um. Well, they aren't after the right after all. I wouldn't be so quick to trust them. Oh? I believe we're dealing with a master in deception. He may well have made up a story to convince us to part ways with our stone. Our channel. Okay, give me. Let me finish this dialogue. I think he was lying about having procured six curse stones as well. Like, really? Six? That's excessive. Well, now I feel gullible. <laughs> Company is plotting something. I wonder what they mean to do with the curse stones. He seemed rather desperate to get a hold of ours, despite us not having collected any soul dregs. Perhaps the people at Hihaku are the masterminds behind the curses being unleashed. Because the chairwoman's a witch? I wonder about that, too. If she really were that powerful, would her secretary have divulged that information so casually? I gotta get back to work. Heck yeah, J Dog! Takumi was either making it up as he went, or. Or? Or he's trying to spread a rumor. What purpose would he do that? Recently, people have been caught up about the world of occult more than ever. Uh, ever before. If word spreads that Hihaku's chairwoman has godlike powers. She could very well benefit socially and politically from that mystique. Hmm. That's unsettling. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Um. Okay, we click on this. Go to Discord. Oh, I've been tagged. I see. I see. I see. Oh! It's clown stuff! Wait. Uh. Yo! Oh my goodness. Look at me. I'm just clowning around. <laughs> this is beautiful, Inky. You've outdone, pop. You've outdone yourself. This is so cool. I have a cool sword? Clown sword? Oh, you did this, the, the star and the moon on the zippers at the bottom? Planets? This is very cool. Inky. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's excellent. I'm stoked on it. I'm the clown boy. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Hell yeah, okay. By the way, there's one more thing of interest I heard when in the company's reception lobby. And what's that? People were discussing whether one of the bodies found this morning was that of Hihaku employee. Really? Wait, what? I think I read that wrong. They, they thought that was a Hihaku employee. So long as the officials haven't revealed the identity, it all amounts to no more than speculation, though. Despite that, I believe uh, the reason I believe Hihaku Soaps is deeply involved with the Seven Mysteries. I, I have a reason to believe that. At the very least, I can assure you I've gathered that much. The more we know, the better our negotiations will go. Okay. Then avoid Hihaku for the time being. It'll be a pain if I have to deal with Takumi again. Should we go somewhere else? Interesting that the Queen of Ihaku, or the Witch, whatever she is, trying to get her hands on the Rite of Resurrection, like some kind of dark fairy tale. 
Yeah, you're gonna do cozy next? Hell yeah! God, this water is or isn't true. We must stay one step ahead. Okay, I'm gonna pour some tea into my cookie. More locations? No. The same amount of them. Alright, we'll go to the high school. Baby. We're engaged also, Inky. That's my fiance now. Boop, 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 boop. Not just girlfriend. Here we are, ground zero, Komagata High School. I guess it's logical that the police has got this place shut down. The teacher's body was found here after all. Hey, thank you. <laughs> it's as if the students have nowhere to go now that the school's closed. Seems the officers are still inspecting the space, the scene. Entry has been strictly prohibited. Do I have a picture of Cozy? Uh, she might have it in her situation. You can ask her about it. You can ping her. Well, don't ping her, but ask in her chat. Um, this place is said to be connected with the story of the Fool's Procession. I wouldn't be surprised if a curse bearer decided to turn up. However, I need to find out if that teacher was a curse bearer or not. I expect the police to be baffled since they don't know about the curses. I can ask around and see what the students have to say. Fire. All right, I'll go ask the students about Michio. I'm back, ma'am. So what did you learn? The school that the school kids sure do love a good rumor. I was practically drowning in stories of, about Mr. Jonucci and Michio, most of which seemed dubious at best. Not surprising. Most of what I heard was hardly worth a second thought. But there was one story that caught my attention. Oh? She's just not... <laughs> he's doing everything. She's who we're playing as, just to be clear. But he's like... <laughs> He's, like, helping us, and we just are not bringing, like, anything to the table right now. Some believe that Michio is the one who killed Mr. Jonucci. Really? The story's got two pieces of evidence to back it up. One of them wasn't news to me. Apparently, he's been mumbling that Michio is going to kill him for some days now. The fellow teacher overheard his mumbling and told the students. And then it got spread like wildfire, I suppose. Rumors that juicy don't stay a secret for long. Star, yes? As for the other piece of evidence... A pigtailed girl in a school uniform was seen around late last night. It's almost lunch. I mean, in an hour and a half. For me. Do I get pizza or sushi? Sushi! Unless your sushi is bad, then get pizza. But sushi's busting. Go on. Although numerous people claim to have seen the girl, not one of them saw her face. Some, pe some are proposing that it was Michio brought back to life, or that it was her vengeful spirit. But it's not like Michio's the only high school girl to wear pigtails. This rumor might have just been made up to fan the flame. Sushi pizza. Hum. But if it were true, I'd want to get a hold of her in order to hear her side of the kidnapping. If she's alive, that'd be ideal. There's still one more thing I should mention. I discovered where Michio lived. A student had a list of student addresses on hand. That's an amazing find. I believe all the students actually have a copy of said list. It truly worries me how easy it was to obtain what should have been confidential information. Yeah, you can just ask, Inky, you can ask in her Discord and she'll get to it when she sees it. You don't need to wait. She is at work, though. Um, imagine, but you can also probably find it, like, on her schedules and things. Like, it's, it's kind of out there. Um, imagine what would happen if that information got into the wrong hands. Well, so far it hasn't, no. Sure, let's hope it stays that way. In the meantime, it's now possible for us to visit Michio Shirashi's house. Uh, I can imagine the students are uneasy after learning of the murder. I want a full picture in character. Yeah, she does that on her schedules. If you take a look at her like announcements, you probably find something. And you won't need to wait. It may do them well to stay home for some time, if not for fear of their safety. The police are probably too wrapped up in solving the case to be concerned about the student's mental health. I can see that. Uh, okay. Important that society provides a space, a, a safe environment for the benefit of our youth. Some school policies could use some rewriting, especially those handling the student's personal information. That's right, I don't want a student being kidnapped on their way back home ever again. I expect criminals to grow more cunning as time passes. There may be times where the authorities can't keep up. That's where outlaws such as myself come in. Outlaws. What's this about? Uh, actually, just forget I said anything. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> what do you mean outlaws? Uh, okay, let's go to her domicile. Near it? Uh oh. What do you mean near it? You do this game? This is Square Enix, so I don't know. It's gorgeous, though. How did it go? I went to visit Michio Shirashi's family home. However, no one seemed to be there. I got no answer at the door, and all the lights were out. It seems to have been empty for a while now. There was a stack of newspapers out front. Well, that's not good. Social connections run deep in working class areas like this place, so I decided to talk to the locals. I met a few nice old ladies who were kind enough to give me the scoop. Turns out the Shirashi's reputation really went down the dumps this past year. Is that so? I'll give you the quick summary. They moved here about three years ago. Their previous residence was in a better part of town. Michio's father died in a car accident, leaving behind just the two of them. Michio's mom, Toshiko, now a single mother, relocated here. At first, they got along with their neighbors, many of which were in similar situations, helping and being helped in turn. So far, so good. What happened? Well, as I said, their reputation began to go downhill about a year ago. A man recognized as Toshiko's common-law husband had moved into the household. Is that... Her name... His name was apparently... Here we go. Ken Kichiro Iwai. Neighborhood gossip is something else. Somehow, everyone knew his name. So what of this EY character? He was apparently a vulgar fellow with a criminal record. He was prone to violent outbursts. The neighbors often heard screams and shouting coming from the home. The neighbors took particular notice of Toshiko's screams, pleading with him not to hit Michio. That's terrible. As if that wasn't unsettling enough, every night the neighbors also began to hear an eerie chanting. Through this, the Shirashi standing in the neighborhood plummeted rapidly. Toshiko was often seen covered in bruises and wounds. Terrible. She stopped responding to her neighbors. She would just turn the other way when greeted. They kept their storm shutters closed even during the day and effectively shut themselves away from the entire community. That sounds horrible. Why didn't the police step in and do something? Unfortunately, under our current laws, the police aren't allowed to get involved with domestic disputes. That's awful. And then Michio reportedly killed herself. Things only got worse with Iwai, and Toshiko was admitted to the hospital for physical and mental abuse. Ever since, Iwai hasn't returned home. Many locals expressed sympathy for Michio's circumstances, but... Just as many were fed up with the Shirashis entirely... Just, just as many were fed up with the Shirashis entirely and seemed relieved that things finally quieted down again. It seems they were still considered outsiders even after three years of living here. I don't understand it. Why would Toshiko have gotten involved with such a brutish good-for-nothing in the first place? I've heard many stories when one partner's personality does a complete turn after entering a relationship. That's very true. Always be vigilant, everybody. That's just the reality. After her first husband's death, Toshiko's financial situation had also taken a turn for the worse. She was determined to send her daughter to a good high school. It's possible she fell victim to sweet promises. Hey, Mama, hello! That was fast. Life can be tough, I suppose. You don't seem moved by the story, ma'am. That's fine. People have all kinds of stories. I got a achievement. Hanjo's ace detective. This is the guy? He looks like he sucks. What is a common law husband? What is that? I've never heard that before. And there's the, the witch, maybe. Okay. Whoa! Mm. Oh, so you came here too. What is it? Uh oh. Oh, it's the cops! Ah! Could you repeat what you know one more time for me, Richter? <gasps> hey, yo! We're, 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 um, we're, what's the word? Oh my god! Fancy sushi. We're mingling. We're intermingling. Cool, this is five minutes away. Oh, hell yeah! Not hell yeah for a ruined basement. What do you mean, ruined basement? What happened? Okay, now we're going to talk to them. Hell yeah. Uh. What a bop. What an absolute bop. Okay. Continue this scene. Excuse my schnuffles. I'm comfy schnuffle bar.
Love this. Can't get enough of this. Please and thank you. Seems like Michio's house is at the end of this road. Don't want to intimidate them, so maybe I should go alone. Mario's checking the Shirashi house at the end of the road. I spent Mother's Day ripping out carpet. No, how awful. I'm so sorry. The street's real narrow, so two big guys like us would stick out like a pair of sore thumbs. Excuse me. Uh. Okay. Houses are real. The houses are really crammed together in these narrow alleyways. Pictures like us walking through definitely stand out. It really does feel like old Tokyo. So, the Shirashi household. There is a chance that Michio didn't actually kill herself. Sushi, hell yeah! It might be the best if we didn't find her parents. Okay. It's quiet. The place is normally pretty lively, full of people coming and going. But it seems like everyone's decided to stay inside because of the recent incidents. Oh. Right, I'll go check the house. I think. Wonder if there's a bird. Oh, there is a bird up there. Hell yeah. Hawking bird. They're the collectibles of this game. You gotta suss out the she, you see. Mario's checking off the Sirashi household. I'll just wait till he gets back. What? Oh, hello. Oh, you're back. No luck, boss. No one home? Doesn't look like it. I knocked for a while, but nobody came to the door. I glanced through the windows, but there was no sign of activity inside either. I saw about three newspapers stuffed into their mailbox. Huh. Mario looks kind of disappointed. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Looks like no one's home right now. We should try again later. Later? Oh, okay. I'll go to the school, I guess. Tell me a tuna soon the she. <laughs> Good sing hello. Happy Wednesday, my dudes. Here we are. Come on, gotta hi. Classes are suspended for the day, so the students are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Okay. I've made sushi in the past. I want someone else to make it. I've made sushi ever. It's not. It's for me the effort that I need to put into making sushi for myself. I'll just pay someone else to do it. I was drinking my coffee, wondering why it was being weird. Your coffee? The lid wasn't open. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. This place isn't the only isn't only connected to the case because the students were under Mr. Yoshimi's jurisdiction. It's also the site of the fool's possession, and of course where that teacher was killed. Seems like a likely place to find some clues, don't you think? How's the day? We're we're getting we're we're doing so many investigating right now. It's crazy. The news of the dead teacher has also attracted a fair share of rubber knuckles. The atmosphere is kind of tense with this many cops around. How is your day going, Goonsling? Also, hilarious. oh. Oh wait, they were just over there. I saw the silhouette of the three girls as our conversation was earlier. Oh, right, speaking of schools, but I was still getting coffee. Definitely like Lee Proof Lid. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? You said paranormal affairs can't help us right now. So why don't we get that psychic high schooler you mentioned to help us? A lot of people involved in this case lead back to the school anyway, so it might make things easier to have them with us. For a guy who questioned me on the legality of working with him, you sure seem eager to exploit underage labor. Hey, who said anything about exploiting them? I just want to give our young experts the opportunity to shine. When'd you become such a smooth talker? Anyway, I'm afraid I don't know where they are. Oh, I see. I wonder if there's anyone who could help us scout out the area. School gate will stay locked while Forensics expects a scene of the incident. Looks like they're still pretty busy. Let's talk to the person in charge later. Suspend. Oh, can I not do this right now? Oh, 
Okay, I can't progress any further. I have to do someone else's story first. Oh, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's here. Maybe that's now. Start. From looking. Go back to the school, maybe? Let's see if they're there. Lion, hello. How are you? Tuna roll isn't great. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we're back at the school. But only because I know that the cop's there. And so... Mio Kuro, Kurozua and Yako Sakazaki decided the next location to investigate. Can I not do anything? Oh. Uh. What? Hmm. Start from location selection. Maybe. Huh. I really assume she's good, but not this time. Kinda, Lion. Sort of. Is it just gonna, like, not let me... Interesting. Okay. Huh. What about... Well, okay. Uh, what do I, what am I supposed to do? The vibes are immaculate. This game is really cool. This is that Paranorman, no, not Paranorman. This is the Paranorma site game. Here we are. Okay, I already knew that. Yeah, see, there's the three of them, like, talking over there. I think that's the three of us. I think, I think. But, easy. Yeah, I don't know what to do right now. Maybe we'll just try going. Start from. Uh, I don't want to have that whole conversation with her again. Let's just try going everywhere, I guess? Where's the Paranormans? I need a hint, baby. Every time it's just like, then they looked at the next place and that's it. So, okay. Is one of these like the right one? I don't understand. I went to the bridge. I haven't tried the gardens yet. Okay. No. I don't know. This is interesting. I don't know what exactly I've sort of done wrong here. Maybe I... I guess it's all 9 a.m. So like, let me let me go through all this again. How about? But then maybe it said it said suspend. So like, I shouldn't be able to do anything. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Let's get it to tell me. That we're done, yin rings. Roundings, talk to him. Talk to him. Think? Let's go back to the neighborhood. The music is quite good. I like every, every, I, like, Everything about this game, I'm so stoked on. Back over here. I don't feel like this is going to work, but I'm not really sure what to do here. Yeah, it's very Danganronpa. It's 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 honestly a lot more um, 
Zero Escape trilogy than Danganronpa just because of the... Um, because of the, uh, the, the, the plot lines and things. Wait till he gets back. I think... Think. There we go. It's just nothing. It's just the same thing as before. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know. I must need to do something differently at some point. Maybe I need to... Maybe I'll just restart this one. Maybe I. Maybe there's a choice I needed to make. So let's see. We're gonna kinda... Oh, I actually don't wanna... Oh, hold on. I don't, I don't wanna start from the beginning. I want to maybe... Zoom... From... Conversation with her? I don't feel like we made any choices with her, though. Oh, God. She said so many things. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna run through all this so fast. I'm not sure. At no point have I gotten stuck like this before. All right, okay. The teacher died. He died. He's dead as hell. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I just don't... Uh... I don't remember making any choices like that I could not die from. Okay, the exorcism... I'm clicking my mouse so furiously. You don't even understand, everyone. Oh my god. It's happening. I don't want to have to look up a guide, but <laughs> I also don't want to waste a ton of time. Um, I don't want to get sparred. You tell the cops. I will tell the cops. Maybe that'll change something. Oh no! Okay. 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 Alright, lots of blackmail. Oh my god. They were doing so many blackmail. It was so messed up. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here's a flashback about it. Doing it. We're doing it, boys. We're doing it. <laughs> All right, okay, all right, okay. All right, okay. I wanna go through this even faster than ever before. Never ending, yeah, pop for me, babies. Oh yeah, this thing, this is important. God, she told us so much information. With the fake, the fake high school. I guess he was a fake high school student. He looks pretty enormous, though. But like, I don't know about that. Okay. I look like a Yakuza character. He were, he were. Oh my god. Okay. I don't. If if we don't shake anything up, I'll look it up. There is guys here. Oh no. Good luck, G-Mama. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Got you at a meeting today. Uh-oh. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Okay, we have rainfall. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right then, we got a lot of new information. Oh my god. 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Bah, 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 bah. Man, I wouldn't have done this if I thought it was going to take this long. <laughs> um, and then, okay, so that, that really just brings us here, huh? All right. Hold on. Hold on. One moment. Let's, let's see. Let's look up a guide. Paranorma site walk. Um, from the gamer.com. Let's, let's see. Um, okay, okay, okay. So then we, oh, I'm getting hit. I've been hit by something. Hydrate. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I really don't want to get, I'm, there's like spoilers here, so I'm trying to like be careful. Um, so we got that. Burning things out. Okay. So that's gonna end this. Okay, so what is this? So I need I need fancy sushi. Homies. Okay, so we need we need uh I need to go. I need to look down here. So, oh, Is that all I have to do? Okay, so they went there. Okay, so if they're at the high school, I'll be making me smile. Ow! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh, okay, 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 uh, okay. Okay, that's a little tricky. That's sneaky. I didn't understand what was happening. Okay. I just need to make them go to Komagata High, and now we're at Komagata High, and we can talk to them. Okay, all right. Huh, that's... Boss, what is he? You wanna to talk to those girls? All right. The celebration thing. Oh, hell yeah! Yay! You wanna to talk to those girls? I do. <laughs> Yeah, I do. This is divine intervention. We were brought here for a reason. Come on, Ario. Oh, what? Okay, that's cool. That's interesting. That's interesting. I like that this game does stuff like that, but that was a little... I was confused about what was happening. Hey, aren't you... Must be the high schoolers skirting the child labor laws I've heard so much about. Um, say that again. Sorry about that. He's with me. <laughs> Mr. Satsumi, that's how you feel. Maybe you should look into improving, improving my working conditions. I prefer not to work for free, to be honest. Don't you worry about that. If you help us out, you could have whatever you want. Whatever you want. Boss's treat. Wait. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you so much. I've always wanted to go to a fancy sushi place. Oh, yeah. Like one of those places in Ginza? I've never been. Let's go. We got ourselves a deal, right, boy? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> the girls are at our service. Uh, hold on now. What just happened? I never said I'd sushi. <laughs> Looking forward to it, boss. <laughs> Wait, since when were you included? Uh -huh. You guys are funny. You should do stand-up. <laughs> so, how much have you been able to figure out? Well, I know what happened around midnight last night. Someone invoked the Feast of Shadows, which boosts the power of curses, then brought forth the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Ariel, I'm on a policeman's salary. You know I can't afford sushi. Ariel, I'm walking here. Ayo, Ariel. That allows even those who do not have the power to, to cast curses to gather soul dregs for the rite of resurrection. At least that's my hypothesis. Sounds about right so far. As I'm sure you know, there are actually nine mysteries, not seven. When the Feast of Shadows was cast, the Curse Stones appeared before those who wanted the right at the locales of the Seven Mysteries. We've managed to gather three Curse Stones so far, including the one I got first, the Evergreen Beach. You got three already? Wow. We have the Curse Stone of the Fool's Procession. Well, Yakko, the girl behind me, does. That's me, Yakko, the girl standing behind me. Oh, <laughs> This got really silly all of a sudden. 
does, is she all right? We can take it off your hands. Well, the Feast of Shadows has no effect during the day, and there's still something I want to find out. All right, I'll leave the fool's possession with you two then. Thank you, please collect, please keep collecting the other curse stones. I'll be looking for a way to stop the Feast of Shadows. Okay, got it. That should make things go more smoothly. What about the other curse bearers? Have you run into any of them? Well, last night at school. You were here last night? Er, uh, yes, you see. Huh. You two are using a spirit board? That's so cool. Well, that's when you ran into the curse echo. I'm glad you survived the encounter. What's this game pulled the spookiest crap ever? It probably will. You never know when it'll happen. Somehow, we managed to get away without accidentally setting it off. Curse echoes we saw took the shape of a woman missing an arm and a leg. What? A woman missing an arm and a leg? That's the, uh... That's the one-sided reed. A one-sided reed? This is bad. Because the, 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 the folklore of that, apparently, according to this, is that they did that and then dumped that woman in the river... And then all the reeds in that area only grew on one side because they chopped their arms and legs off. Oh, what's so bad about that one? You idiot think the curse bear of the one sided reed is. Nejima? Who would chicken Nejima? He admitted it himself. That's his curse. Oh, that's right. Wait, but if that's the case. Nejima might have been here last night. What? I mean, it's possible he was lying to us, but. What? Um, who's Nejima? No clue. <laughs> so Nejima is trying to take advantage of the Feast of Shadows for his own nefarious purposes. Oh, he said he's going to massacre the city at sundown today? And he's trying to get your daughter too? That's why we've been trying to find him, but to no avail. Honestly, this information has been the most useful we've gotten so far. Just to be sure, could you tell me who else was at the school last night? Well, as far as we know, there was us, Mr. Danucci, and one of our classmates, Hitomi. Don't forget old man Ashiyama. Wait, Hitomi? You mean Hitomi Okuda? Second year student? Um, well, yes. Why? Was. So she was here last night. <laughs> I saw Hitomi earlier, though. She didn't seem like a curse bearer to me. You did? Did you talk to her? Um, yes. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions about that? Tommy said she didn't want to talk to the police because she was afraid she'd become a suspect. So I can't tell you anything unless you swear you won't drag her into this. Ah, I see. Don't worry, this is about a different matter. Different matter? You mean about that police officer, Mr. Yoshimi? You know about that? Did you tell me say something about him? Yes, she did, actually. He said all this stuff. And we're talking about people who were at the school last night. There was one more person, though I'm not too clear on the details. There was someone else? Apparently, Hitomi saw, actually saw Mr. Janushi getting cursed and killed last night. What? Talk about some vital information. What she said happened was... This. Michio was the one who killed Mr. Janushi? Are you sure it was really Michio that she saw? Well, that's what she told me. I wasn't there. That must mean there was another curse bearer here last night. Nonuchi was killed by a curse, so something had to have, ha had to have been there, whether it was Michio or not. Damn, boss! Don't you think it would have been Michio's good? I mean, based on what we've heard, she has plenty of reasons to be vengeful. Calm down. Stop it. Stop kissing the air. Just because the paranormal- Oh my god! <laughs> That's so loud. It's so loud. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that was also a long one, Fern. Come on. <laughs> Just because the paranormal exists doesn't mean that anything is possible. It's still possible that Nejima was behind Jonuchi's death. Star what? But what about Hitomi's story? <laughs> yeah, control. <laughs> hey, so say we all, am I right, gamers?
About this janitor, Ashiyama, was it? How old is he? Do you know how long he's worked here? Oh, why are you so interested in him all of a sudden? I only just transferred to school, though, so I have no idea. He's around 50 years old. He came to our school about half a year ago. No one knows what he did before, so there are all kinds of rumors about him. Is he the murderer, man? I see. Thanks, I'm starting to get a better picture of all this. Huh? Listen up. It's not uncommon for former prisoners to find work under an alias after their release. The notoriety attached to their former name can get in the way of proper rehabilitation, you see. What are you? No way! Ariel, have the officers apprehend the janitor. He worked the night shift, he, so he still might be in the overnight room. Yes, right away! Yeah, arrest him! Probably not him, but... Arr! Boss, bad news! Apparently the room's been empty all morning! Sounds like they've been looking to question Nashiyama too, but couldn't find him anywhere! That all but confirms it. Just one more thing to check. Are there any photos of this Ashiyama? Um, the old man seriously hated getting his picture taken. He'd always avoid it. Ariel, call an urgent search for Makoto, Ma Ma Makoto Ashiyama. We can't let him get away. Yes, sir. I'll contact HQ right away. Arr! So much to talk about. Oh, my. I didn't expect this at all. Yeah, how could that old man have been some horrible criminal mastermind? I can't believe it. And a, cur and a curse bearer on top of that. I think he was so close to us this whole time. Ah, it gives me chills. A guy like that really shouldn't have been allowed to work at a high school. Let's hope it isn't already too late. Oh, I uh, I may have shown Ashiyama my curse stone last night. What? I don't like this one bit. Najima did say he wasn't specifically targeting curse bearers, but... I'm so gl I'm glad nothing happened to you. Wait, but then, could it have been old man Ashiyama who attacked you in the hallway? Ah, I almost told him that you were still in the building, too. You did do that in another timeline, lady. Don't forget, you forgot, though. What? You did? Yikes, good thing I didn't say anything. Might have gotten very lucky there, kid. Luck, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know about luck. This is too much. I hope they find him soon. Come on, long arm of the law, help us! <laughs> I would have stopped at the Feast of Shadows. It would help if I knew more about how the Curses of the Seven Mysteries first came about. Hmm, in that case, you're probably best off talking to that crabby researcher guy. You mean Mr. Araishi? I would very much like to talk to him. Ah, right, he's a teacher here too, isn't he? You would know that. You would know him already. He might be more inclined to talk if it's one of his students doing the asking. Do you know where he is? I do. We tried to talk to him, but he refused to cooperate. But you two should give it a try. He's at his usual cafe working on his papers. The cafe? Oh, Girl Kiyo, Kikyo Cafe in Kamazawa? Thanks, we'll head over there right now! Um, school rules said we're not allowed to go to cafes, though. What do you mean, school rules? Don't worry about it. I'll allow it. I'm an adult. Thank you! Oh, that's all it takes? <laughs> Is that real? Why can't students go to cafes? Is that real? There must be a mastermind behind everything. Someone who orchestrated all this for a reason. Ah, welcome home. I want to find out why. <laughs> Itobi did say that Mr. Yoshimi entrusted her with something. You did? What was it? Yoshimi gave her a talisman? Cool rules against cafes? I don't know. That There must be some reason for it. I and mean, this is also like 80s-ish, so maybe it's different now, but... Um. Yes, apparently he also asked her to look for another one just like it, one that Michio had. What kind of talismans could they be, boss? Doesn't ring a bell. But if you. <laughs> Foster check, I can do that too. Thank you. But if Yoshimi was talking about him with this dying breath, they must have been pretty important. Did they find a talisman on Michio where her body was found? I'll check, but if they did, Yoshimi probably would have had would have had plenty of time to retrieve it before he died. Right. Would you consider giving us Satomi's contact information? I'd like to talk to her about this talisman. I'm not sure. She never opened up to anyone except her except Mr. Yoshimi. No, Fern, don't do it! No! <laughs> You don't seem like too bad a guy. Not all that scary for a cop. 
But I got it. Ow! <laughs> can't decide <laughs> but I doubt that'll be enough for her she really doesn't want to be end up becoming a suspect Ami hello to be honest she was even a bit wary of us well then do you think she talked to Yoshimi's fiance haven't they met before oh they have she told us about that yeah she might be willing to talk to her all right we better find her fast you haven't been able to reach her that's a little worrying uh-oh. We're very tall. Mayu Chozawa. We'll let you know as soon as we manage to contact her. Okay, I'll be willing to give Hitomi's contact information to her. Oh, right, one more thing. Hitomi told me that Mr. Yoshimi gave her instructions in the event that something happened to him. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. How are you doing, Ami? He told her to give the talisman to Mr. Nakagoshi from the police headquarters. What? So it was Nakagoshi case? Hmm, why would Yoshimi tell her that? Would you check on that? I will, but, well, I don't know if they'll pick up when I call. Is he with the Paranormal Agents Bureau? Well, yes, Nagagoshi's the chief, but he's almost never in, so I really don't know the guy. To be honest, I'm not even sure if he exists or if he's just a figurehead. I've never spoken to him with him myself. All the Paranormal Affairs cases are referred to as Nakagoshi cases. Jeez, what's up with that? The amulet he told me he was looking for may be the missing piece, puzzle piece to this mystery. Oh. Uh, oh, hello. Um, what was that thing you mentioned about Michio earlier? Something about a grudge? Do you know anything about her? Uh, what's your relation? I'm her friend. I was actually planning to resurrect her at first. Ah, uh, I see. Gained quite a lot of information from you two. It's only fair we share as well. Tell her, Ario. All right. Keep in mind that this is just a theory, though. Okay. After re-examining the crime scene, Yoshimi concluded that Michio's death wasn't a suicide, but a vehicular collision. Wait, what? An accident? Slapping people in a game. Is that game called Slappers? That game doesn't exist. <laughs> Being hit by a speeding truck or van would have resulted in similar injury. The investigation was ordered by Yoshimi, so it seems he had his doubts about it being a suicide. Oh! What? A van? Speeding? What does that mean? Yucko, what's wrong? Are you okay? Ah! 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 What's happening? Something scary about to happen? Ah! Well. Okay. A van. There's a young man in the driver's seat. In the passenger seat, a woman? Yucko! Did you just have a vision? Ah, uh huh, yes. Wait, was I... Are you back now? How do you feel? You're covered in sweat. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm okay, I think. Sorry, I went a little crazy there. <laughs> Not a problem, as long as you're okay. That was quite the surprise, though. Well, let's follow up on that. Um, Yoshimi talked to you about Michio, didn't he? Well, it didn't give me any specifics, if you're wondering about that. So I don't know what was truly on Michio's mind, either. Right. Do you have any idea why Jonuchi was so scared of Michio? Well, about that. I'm not sure exactly how to put this, but... I see. Well, I half expected it was something like that. Thank you for telling me. Sorry, it's hard to explain. I wonder what he got his hands on to be able to blackmail her like that. That's a good question. Michio, what happened? Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this guy is goofy as hell. This is one hell of a coincidence, huh? That, is, that the random girl you know is already involved with the case. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Do we, are we, oh, hello, more. Michio, what happened? Well, okay. Ziyako Sakazaki. She was with Mio, could she be a friend? Did Mio finally make a friend? If she did, it would do this old man's heart good. I better not say that out loud, I don't wanna make her look bad. Who, what, what? Mio Kurozuwu, she's a disciple of the Paranormal Affairs Chief. 
I've heard that she helps out with investigations free of charge under the guise of training. Although she's my old boss's protege, she helped me out plenty when I was in paranormal affairs. It may look meek, but she's got a strong spirit sense, sharp instincts and courage, plus quite the brain to back it up. That said, I can't help but think there's some kind of darkness following her around. Certainly well versed in the paranormal, but I just can't get over the darkness. Forensic's still investigating the area. I didn't really want to bring these kids to a place like this, but there are too many onlookers outside for us to speak comfortably. Besides, it would be good to have Mia looking around the scene, too. Oh. Oh! Oh, shoot. Okay. What's that rope all about? It, indi it indicates where Janucci's body was found. They've moved his body, but the way we still but this way we still have an idea of how it was found. Yikes, that's a little gross. You can even see how his arms and legs are all... Ugh. Cool it, Ariel. You're scaring her. This kind of stuff is a little much for a kid. Hey, I'm pretty sure she only asked because you were staring at it so intently. Alright, that's enough. Mio, what do you think? I knew at the moment I looked at the scene. You're right. Traces of a curse still linger here. I figured as much. Does that mean that Jonucci was killed by one of the curses of the Seven Mysteries? Yes, a strong curse like that always leaves behind a trace. Wow, Mio, you're so calm. Are you used to this kind of thing? Um, I wouldn't say I'm used to it. It just comes with experience, I guess. No, I've heard some stories about you. Didn't you investigate a gruesome crime scene? A gruesome scene where someone had been killed by a paranormal attack without even breaking a sweat? Stop it, Mr. Susumi. She's gonna get the wrong idea. Wow, that's amazing. Mio, you're a professional. Y you think? Totally, you're cool. You're cool even in the face of death. That's awesome. Uh, when you put it like that, I'm not sure how awesome it is. Hey boss, Forensics is calling. I'll go see what they have to say. Sure, thanks. Whatever. Boss, they found this on the ground a short distance away from the scene. What is that? A ribbon? Yeah, the kind you use to tie up your hair. What? I've seen that ribbon before. You have? Go on then. That's the ribbon that Michio always used to wear. <gasps> what? Doesn't that mean that Michio was here? Are you sure? Definitely. I have the same one at home. We bought them together. That has to be hers. Then did she come back to life somehow? But how? Oh my god. If, it was Mich if I was Michio and came back to life, where would I go? That's the question. She got her revenge on Jonucci, but she may have more revenge to dish out. Is there anyone else she'd have a grudge against? Well, what about the guy who killed her in the collision? If she really did come back to life, then it's terribly sad that she's spending her new chance in life like this. Being obsessed with revenge is such a tragic way to live. Alright, we did it. I'm afraid that's all we can tell you. Don't worry, you were a big help, thank you. We should start our search for Nejima and Mayu Cho Chozawa. It might be worth to check Michio's house as well, just in case. Let's use the school as our base of operations. If anything happens, go to one of the officers hanging around here. Got it, thank you, and good luck. We'll go talk to Mr. Irashi about a way to lift this curse. Alright, boss, let's get going whenever you're ready. Hell yeah! Alright, cool, 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 cool. Let's get out of here. Yay! Oh, look at all these new... Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! So, okay, so now... Now we can talk to them here. Um, I am gonna... Listen, I'm gonna go to the bathroom once more. I'll be back in just such a little jiffy, y'all. You won't even... You won't even miss me! She will... You won't even miss me! I'll be right back.
All right, I forgot to unmute. You all miss me so much. Let me read about how much you miss me. <laughs> I'm back. I got a mouthful of almonds. I'm back. It's like I never left. It's like I was only gone for like 45 seconds. I mean, it's like I've been gone 10 years. What if I just like left the stream running for like 10 years? Nuts in my mouth are almonds. Ow. <laughs> Did I get the milk? No, I'm lactose intolerant, baby. <laughs> Cuzzy. You were gone so long, I remarried. Remarried? We're not married yet. To Fern? All right. <laughs> I can't even be mad. <laughs> All right, so we met up with them now. Uh, oh yeah, Richter, here we go. I'm sorry about that. Hey, I was gone 10 years, what do you want? Um, ma'am, allow me to introduce one of our country's most elite detectives. My name's Jun Iro. I hardly call myself elite, but either way, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> this here is the brilliant chief inspector, Sutsumi. And yes, he looks as rough and tumble. He's just as rough and tumble as he looks. Sometimes I really don't know if you're complimenting or putting me down. Dark, hello. So you two are detectives. This is my client, Mrs. Harui Shigima. Her father's a big deal in the police himself, so remember to mind your manners. A bigwig named Shigima, but boss, you know this guy? Shit, I've heard the name, but you don't. But you know I don't keep track of who's who in the upper echelons. There's no need to worry. I am my own person after all, and my father has nothing to do with any of it. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, boss? Looks like you're getting off easy again this time. <laughs> don't make it sound like I'm involved in some shady business. It ain't like that. You both seem rather jovial despite being detectives. How rare. Uh, all, all the police officers I've met have always been so dull. Well, you won't find any dull cops here. We'll round up your criminals with a smile. That's our motto. <laughs> How lovely. Keep it up. Just hold on a second. This is the first I'm hearing of that. Well, you're right about them not being your typical detectives. Here, Hank and Connor. Hank and Connor. I don't know who that is. Oh, we're playing as... I'm, I'm the lady now. Okay. So, first let me look for... Oh, I think I found a sticker already. This music is a bop, though. Okay, let's talk to you. By the way, ma'am, this might be sudden, but there's something I'd like to confirm with you. <laughs> I used the wrong your No! <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. I messed it up sometimes, too. Um, we're hard working to build us a nest. <laughs> oh, the man. Oh, okay. I haven't played Detroit, um, but we have it. I think it was sent to Cozy for PS4. And that is... Do you happen to know anything about the seven mysteries of Hanjo? Sorry, Chief, but that's hardly. With all due respect, Investigator, I think my question was addressed to the lady. Well, if you insist. What do you say, ma'am? Can you tell us anything? You like jazz? Um. I'm gonna... I'm gonna answer them. Can't say I know much. That's so. Well, I'm sorry for the intrusion. Heck. Hey, <laughs> Daddy, cozy for an art to my list of stuff to get done. <laughs> Come to think of it, I heard some things about this area last night. Something about a strange yet conspicuous man dressed in white loitering around. Wait a second. <laughs> I assume they were talking about you, investigator. Well, I won't argue that I'm strange and conspicuously dressed in white. And as it turns out, I was here last night to conduct my investigation. Did you run into anything strange or out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. I guess I did observe a few suspicious characters. You were asking about curses just now. Why would a public servant be interested in the occult? Boss, well, Richter's a smart man. He could help us if we tell him what do we know. Richter Belmont! Ha 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 ha!
I can't promise I'll be of any help to you, but I'm interested in hearing what you've got to say. Something is happening in Hanjo, isn't there? It must be something big if they've got you head office guys on it. Well, I guess it's all right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Thank you, boss. Listen closely to what we're about to say, Richter. Huh. So by using curses to commit murders, these people collect soul drags to perform the rite of resurrection? Yes, of Hell yeah. <laughs> and these curse stones are somehow connected to the seven mysteries of Hanjo. That's a tough story to swallow, but I don't see a reason to doubt you either. Yeah, Nick Cage will be in Dead by Daylight. I saw that, which is wild. He's kissing again. Well, we figured the strange occurrences happening around here recently are connected to these curses. That looks like he's a buzzing smooth criminal. <laughs> to get to the situation under control, we've been searching for the curse bearers to compensate their curse stones. The Baruji, hello! Congratulations on your award, also super. That's the coolest. Hell yeah. That's for you. Um... Have any information that might help us? That's tough. I never expected Curses and other mumbo jumbo to play into this at all. But if we're talking shady characters, there was this middle aged fellow I saw in South Wari Gisui Street. I have a hard time with that one. He had an average build. He was anxious, like he was searching for prey. Boss, what do you think? Well, considering the location, it could have been Hideki Arashi. We already got his curse stone. Impressive. You two are working quick. Did you see anything else? Not that I can remember. That's a shame. Uh, boom. You see any characters who look like they might be carrying a curse stone? It'd be a huge help if you let us know. Absolutely. I'll let you know if I find anything. Richter, perhaps you could let us a hand on our case too? There's a number of people we can't track, and finding missing persons happens to be your specialty, no? I hate to disappoint you, but I'm busy enough with this case. The faith of my clients is what keeps me afloat. I have to prioritize requests by the order in which they come. <laughs> Hydrate. Yeah, all right. I can do that. I see. Well, I can't say that's not fair. What do you need a private investigator for anyway? The cops should have plenty of bright folks to throw at the job. True, but this isn't an ordinary case we're dealing with here. What brings you here, Richter? You on a case? That's right, I'm picking up the police's slack. I trust you remember the kidnapping and murder case from last year? Oh, I remember now. You're that Haru Ishigama from the kidnapping case. Oh, did I miss something? Don't be an idiot. It was the case where Munisada Shigama's grandson got kidnapped. Which must have been your son, ma'am. Indeed, the story was suppressed by the news. In the end, it was considered a huge failure on the police department's part. Oi, oi, oi. Um, thinking about it, but this news seals the deal. <laughs> Most of the investigation was conducted in secret. And unfortunately, the department is unwilling to reopen the case. Any investigation carried out afterwards turned up nothing at all, which is why I'm now on the job. So they never caught the culprit, huh? That's rough. So your findings have brought you to this place, then? That's right. An individual connected to the case used to live around here. We used to. That's right. As of last week, they're deceased. We'd hope to talk to the family. No one was home when I checked last time, so we figured we'd try again. Interesting. Huh? By the way, that reminds me, Richter. Yes? You said the person who used to live here died last week. You wouldn't be referring to Michio Shiraishi by chance. You knew? I thought so. It seems we're here for the same reason then. Seriously, Michio was involved with curses and magic? Strictly speaking, the curse part isn't our concern. We're looking into Yoshimi's case. Yoshimi? Oh right, Hajime Yoshimi's. That's right, he died on the job. I'm sure you've heard about it. Back to the grind. I love you too, Cozy! Talk to you when I get home. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I heard it was a most unfortunate loss. There's, there's, so there's a connection between Hajime Yoshimi and the juvenile division of Michio. Well, hold on. Let's focus on Michio for a second. You think she had something to do with the kidnapping? 
Hmm, talk about unforeseen developments. Exchanging information should prove mutually beneficial. I'll tell you what I know, but in turn, I want the full scoop on your findings concerning Michio. Sure, to tell you the truth. What? You believe Michio's ghost is the one who killed Mr. Jonucci? Whoa! <laughs> so he wasn't just mumbling nonsense. I mean, we haven't fully confirmed anything yet. But the testimonials, we, the testimony we've heard and the evidence we've found point in that direction. Testimony? You mean from those, uh, psychic high schoolers? Didn't they also say there was a chance Michio hadn't killed herself? Wait, if that's all true, then... Did you figure something out? Kanchichiro Iwai! Huh? Kanchichiro Iwai, he'll be the next victim! We have to open the door to the Shirashi house, we need to look inside! Hey, what's gotten into you? I don't know what he's talking about either. Boss? I'm sure the landlord would give us a key if we ask. Screw that. You know how long that could take. We can ask for permission later. Whoa. Richter? He knows something that none of us know. Hey, Richter, calm down. We can't just... The tension will talk to you when I get home. <laughs> take that, you shitty door. That's how you do it. <laughs> Richter, get a hold of yourself. I see you're still the same as always. Everyone, come quick. Look at this. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Ah. Whoa, what's up with this room, boss? There's a dead body in here. Whoa, could that be Michio's dad? Nah, he's her stepdad at best, if that. It's got to be the body of... Can't... 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 His arm's on backwards. They gotta, they gotta, uh, un, you gotta screw it back on. There's no doubt about it. This man's a goner. He's gotten real messed up. Looks like he's been like this for a while. I'd say it happened last night. Ario, did you find Jonucci's body in the same state? Now that you mention it, <laughs> it looked as though Kohi Jonucci had died from a number of heavy blows. What are you suggesting, investigator? It was Michio Shirashi. She's alive. She used the power of the curses to get back at the men who ruined her life. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You're suggesting she actually revived? It's got to be that. And if she's alive, then... Then what? Oh! It's okay. So this is the storyteller. He's narrating the game. <laughs> My apologies for interrupting. I know we've just arrived at an interesting plot point. But do you really think a dead girl is going around taking revenge from beyond the grave? Consider this. What if Michio Shirashi never died? But seeing as you've come this far, I'm sure you already know the truth, don't you? And so, I would have you answer me a question. Where in Hanjo was Michio Shirashi at the hour of 8 o'clock this morning? Uh... I don't know! It, uh, at 8 o'clock? It's like before we got going. At the... I don't know. I don't know if there's like a right answer. Uh, let's try this school. Like, and get this. Maybe at her house? I'll guess her house. I see, I see. So that's what you think. I think, I think, I think I'm just supposed to give the wrong answer. I don't know. Your mobile zone, nor hello. Sorry, there's internet problems. Let's take a moment to reconsider what you know and choose again. Sh uh oh, Did this. Go? See, so that uh, okay. Well, what do I know? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, there, there, it's there. Th all these names are just in no particular order. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? He's like up here. Hey, nope. 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 I'll just keep going. Here I go. There she is. 
Uh, is an otter student. Let's let's look at shit here. Um. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. That didn't help at all. Um, so what would that mean? At 8 o'clock this morning, that would be right before we kind of started our investigations. I could just click on all these, but that seems dumb. Um, this is the park where our first guy bit the dust. Um, so what's the timeline? Okay. Hmm. What happened to... I can't... I wish I... I really wish I could look at the story chart and not leave the area. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna start guessing. No, it's wrong. I would love to take a moment. Let's just keep guessing. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, face man. He scares me. He's he makes me nervous. Well, the candy shop. Was she hungry for candy? She. I see very well. Okay, I'm. She was at the candy sh shop. Congratulations, you are correct. You got it wrong six times. Well, it's a trivial matter. Oh, no. <laughs> May have been easier to reach that conclusion had you considered the cause of death. Let's get back to the story then, shall we? I've taken up enough of your time. Okay. Sorry. Wait, so you really think Michio Shirashi is alive? So I guess she... I guess the storyteller told us that she's alive, so... And she's at the candy shop for some reason. I don't really understand. I don't know why we're supposed to have understood that. Um, I mean, like, right? Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm really not sure. Um, okay, well, whatever. Just think of it. Just think it through, and it all becomes obvious. Tracks, but you really think that girl could have managed all this? First of all, Ario, go report this to HQ. Understood, I'll get on it right away. Oh my god. So that's the other killer, also. I'll start investigating this place. I'm sure it isn't lacking in stuff that needs a looking at. There's a bunch of photos of the same person posted on the wall over there. Huh? Whoa now, hold on, these photos. These are all Fumichika Nejima. Gross. <laughs> Really? Come to think of it, he was in the papers a lot back in the day. <coughs> I got almonds stuck in my throat. I think the flashback with the girls. Flashback? What do you mean the flashback? In what? To explain, explain yourself. Pouring more tea. Excuse me. Thank you for your patience. Really come to think of it, he was in the papers a lot in the day. Oh, there's even more pasted up there. These are all cutouts from newspapers and magazines about the Nejima murders. I don't get it. Why the weirdo shrine? Let's keep looking around. Let's keep look. Let's keep looking around. Um, Nejima picture. It's the same man in every picture. Is that? Isn't that? Fumachika. Oh no, this is Richter. Excuse me. That's the same man in every picture, isn't that Fumachika Nejima? Wow, this is quite the spectacle. I don't think I'll, I'll ever manage to erase this from my mind. Don't worry, Richter. You're quite the spectacle yourself. You mean to compare me with the likes of a bizarre criminal? Uh, these aren't just from publications. They even snapped a number of shots on their own. They must have admired him. Why else would they have collected so many pictures? Whatever the case, it's certain they were obsessed. Uh, okay, new favorite cutouts. Look at these, pictures of Fumichika Nejima cut out from newspapers and magazines. Whoever put these up was obsessed. I wonder what their intent was. 
You think the Shirashis are somehow connected to the Nejima case? Perhaps they did this to not forget a grudge or something. It's crazy to think Nejima could be involved in this too. Huh? Do you think he might have anything to do with the body here? Maybe. The man's already out on parole. He's a curse bearer with a curse stone now. He has announced that from sundown today, he'll be going on a killing spree. Oh dear. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> She's got like... They, they did such a good job making her look kind of creepy with these eyes. I don't know how they did that. There's an emergency search underway as we speak, but no one's managed to get a hold of the bastard. So he hasn't changed his ways. This doesn't bode well. Tell you the truth, the lady here isn't completely unconnected from the Nejima murders either. You don't say. That's right, we talked about it last night. Twenty years ago, I found the hand in Sumida River that brought the incident to light. You don't say. You were the kid from back then? You were really brave. You did a great deed. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> were you the detective I spoke with? I had no idea. So you two have met before. Fancy that. I've been worried that Fumachika Nejima might bear resentment towards you, ma'am. Huh. huh, you might be right. Unfortunately, that asshole is quite the resentful type. Oh, dear. That asshole. I wonder who put the idea into his head, and now he's got the one-sided reed, too. He's threatening to massacre people of Hanjo at sundown. Serious? Seriously? On top of that, he's been itching to get revenge on me as well. Of all things, a man's gone and threatened to kill my daughter. Damn, that's quite the threat. Certainly you can't afford to stay put here. The fucker wants to get us all antsy. When I finally get to arresting him, it'll be with a cool head. Not gonna give him the pleasure, huh? Well, if Iwai and Fumachika Nejima have anything to do with each other, then this room might hold a clue to Nejima's location. Let's hope so. Uh, paper cutouts again. Person who put up all these photos must have been obsessed with Nejima. Might have had some relation to Nejima's victims, or perhaps it was the opposite. The op the opposite? What if it wasn't a loathing, but admiration? But then... Yeah, but then what? Hiding door. I'm sorry, Nor. Thank you for trying. The sliding door leads to the kitchen. It barely fits the frame. Okay. I'm gonna look at the body last. There are old books scattered everywhere. I wonder what they're about. Many of them are written in a foreign language. It'll be a pain to look through all these. Let's save them for later and continue to look around. But... Oh, later, like... Now, later. Drawers? This drawer is really old. Chief Inspector, do you mind if I look inside? Huh? I mean, in normal cases, only the police would be allowed to touch things, right? Right, Ario isn't here, so let me take a look at it. There's just clothes in here. Not much variety, either. Can't say they were big spenders. Well, I was hoping to find kind of a talisman here, but I guess we're not so lucky. I see. Thank you, anyway. That's fine. Window. With the window and storm shutter closed, no light gets in here at all. It's pitch black. The neighbors mentioned they started to keep the house shut like this not long ago. That that does track. Uh, floor? It's off putting to look at, but I can't help but wonder what in the world this is. They're magic runes. They're using Western black magic ritual. Most of the time, they're useless imitations, though. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Oh my! Who knew the Chief Inspector would be such an expert on the occult? I just chanced upon that information. That girl with the spirit sense we mentioned, she's pretty informed on the subject. Hmm. Oh, you do declare. Someone was, attempt Someone was attempting to perform Western black magic in this place. Pretty absurd, if you ask me. Of course, the person in question was dead serious about it all. Uh, oh, okay. Um, and then... Yeah, I can't, uh, the floor is up? It's like the things spread around here have been like this for a while now. This ritual, or whatever it was, was something he attempted up to recently. Plenty of the neighbors mentioned having heard strange mantra-like noises coming from during, here during the night. You think it was Iwai was the one... I've lost my ability to say any words. You think Iwai was the one chanting? <laughs> I'm kind of like... <laughs> I'm mixing them up and combining them. Hard to say. Could have been one of the Shirashis as well. If we look through these books in the back, we might learn whatever it is they were trying to do. Um, 
right now. Oh, okay. Later. <laughs> All right, let's look at the corpse. There's nothing around that to confirm his identity, but by the looks of him, I say he's Ken Kenchichiro Iwa. You've seen him before. I heard he was a cri he had a criminal record, so I assumed he wouldn't have held a respectable occupation. Is this what a curse does to a person? Ma'am, it'd be better not to look so closely. It's amazing. Amazing? It's not what I expected you to say, lady, but okay. Cruel is what it is. Now the books? What do you say, Chief? Would you let me look through it if I wore gloves? Well, it's not like I'm any help with foreign languages. Go ahead. Thank you. Huh, it seems to be a book on Western black magic. The same runes are written here alongside detailed descriptions of the procedures. I suppose you'd call these grimoires. It's all a bunch of nonsense if you ask me, though. You think this EY guy was studying them? Perhaps to perform some kind of ritual? There are a bunch of handwritten notes beside the grimoires. Whoever it was, they were serious about this. Iwai doesn't look like the type to be into this stuff, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But why would he be studying black magic? According to the materials, this here rune is for the restoration of youth. Perhaps he was trying to become young again. This over here seems to be black magic related to resurrection. Each one of these spells requires a human sacrifice. Talk about dangerous. Resurrection, like the right? I guess no matter what part of the world, people will turn to the occult for similar reasons. Whoa. Hmm? What is it? This looks like a journal. It's probably a wise. Journal? Hmm. Hmm. His writing is surprisingly thorough. It's almost as if he was writing a report for someone. Oh my god. Oh wow, now this is something. What is it? What did he write? This is quite the fine. Let me give you a summary. So, this Ken Chichiro Iwa fellow, he'd been searching for a spell to restore youth for years. So he was into black magic from the start. Doodling work is slow. Oh, you double tapped your paper. I've definitely went to control Z when writing real words. Uh-oh. <laughs> he believed if he could learn to successfully perform the spell, he could then use it to earn a fortune. To tell you the truth, it seems he was already getting funded after he acquired this grimoire. You don't say. This is starting to sound kind of familiar. But first, let's find out how we got his hands on this grimoire. It seems that Nejima told him where he could obtain the book when they were both in prison. What? That's nearly too much of a coincidence. Likely not a coincidence. It seems that Iwai took an interest in the Nejima murders after it made the news. He admired him rather passionately. You might even say he worshipped the man. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What gives you that idea? Worship Nejima of all people? There was a time when students were itching to rebel. Anyone who did something to shake the world was bound to gather admirers. Iwai had been collecting these photos ever since that time. And since it just so happened to land in prison at the same time as Nejima, he made sure to get in contact. That This is a lot. I mean, even having it all laid out like this. The thought that Nejima being involved with these grimoires is staggering. I don't think we've ever had anything pointing to that. What's the connection? To be honest, it's a shock to me too. For years we've been searching, scratching our heads over the motives behind the Nejima murders. Yep, it's been a mystery to us all from the very start. Whoa now, just, w just wait just one minute, do you think? No way, are you saying? That's right, the murders might have been for a ritual. He was attempting to perform black magic. The instructions written down for the sacrificial offering match up exactly with the acts carried out by Nejima. You've got to be kidding me. Uh-oh. So that sadistic crap he was doing was all for black magic? That's what the evidence suggests. However, Nejima tried to do some type of resurrection ritual, but Iwai had different motives. Chief Inspector, you might think this is all the stuff of fantasy, but that doesn't refute that Nejima and Iwai here were both acting in earnest. It could be how the feast got started, you're right. This is batshit insane. You're telling me that the nut job did all this for some hokey pokey resurrection? Shit, resurrection. What? Resurrection. What? Why did. Huh? Who's laughing that don't judge a book by its cover? That's all you can do. That's all you got. That means, that means there must have been someone Nejima wanted to bring back to life. 
Damn, that's it. That has to be it. Fucking hell, it all makes sense now. What? What is it? So, about the Nejima murders. There's some information that's been kept from the public. Go on. When we broke into his house and arrested him, we also found a baby. A baby? She is just the anime... Like, she is the... She is the... What's the character from Inuyasha? Kago She's the Kagome of the <laughs> this game. She has not provided us with hardly anything. And she's just like there to be like, what? That thing you just said? What? But a question? Oh my god. I like her, but I'm liking her less and less as the game <laughs> progresses. It was a girl. Looked to be about six months old, but she was covered in filth. She looked so weak and sickly. We called the medics right away. If it were a second later, I'm sure the girl would have died. So was Nejima the father? He told us he'd found her under a bridge. He found her? She was abandoned? I've, I've heard a parent threatening to leave their child under a bridge as a threat, but to think it really happens. Ah, I suppose there are all those cases with the dead newborns found stuffed in coin lockers, so it's not without precedent. Whatever the case, we never found out the truth. It, there's no DNA right now, it's the 80s. But there's one rumor from the back from back then that I could never get out of my mind. And it's starting to sound more likely now? Well, I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard it. Many believe Nejim is guilty of more crimes than what he got him than what got him convicted. Back then, a lot of girls went missing. Yeah, I remember all that. Among the high school girls uh, that might have been murdered, or maybe I should say sacrificed, was a girl who was pregnant. Oh my god. <laughs> That's horrific. He killed her. And dismembered her body. And we thought, maybe the baby we found is what he pulled out from inside of her. Don't misunderstand me. This is all speculation on top of more speculation here. But I, for one, never believed that man would just take in a baby he found from under the bridge. I'm feeling sick. Say strong, ma'am. I know this is hard to hear. Like I said, don't take that on to be the full truth. We are running on speculation back then. Now that this whole resurrection magic has come to play, we should consider the possibility it was his child. And that maybe he was trying to revive whoever the mother might have been. It's just a theory, but my life would be a tad easier if it were true. That's an interesting thought. If there's anyone Nejima would want to resurrect, a deceased wife is as good a guess as any. The fact that he obtained a curse stone suggests he had an interest in the rite of resurrection. Damn, you're right. And here I was thinking he was only after the curse's power to massacre. Um, Chief Inspector? Yeah? What happened to the child? Without a birth registration on file, best we could do was find the girl some suitable foster parents. It was decided to keep the circumstances secret for the sake of the child's future. Well... I'm glad she was taken care of. Damn. Damn, baby. Don't mean to derail the conversation, but there's still more written in EY's journal. That is hard to hear. It's it's a lot. We know EY had, a mad, had managed to obtain the grimoire thanks to the advice he got from his idol, Nejima, while in prison. After conducting research and gathering more information, he determined he had a chance to get rich quick. Right, he thought he could make some money if he could su successfully use rejuvenation magic. Correct. Turns out someone gave him the idea. And get this. Oh. It was the one and only queen and chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps herself, Natsui Yamamori. Wait, the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps? So that's where this leads. Here, let me read what he wrote. The queen of Hihaku has a strange fear of growing old. Her fear of death is even worse. If she does die, she wishes to be revived, and she will spend whatever it takes to preserve her beauty. Magic, rituals, and rites, she'll use whatever means necessary. Her tenacity, her tenacity is unbelievable. What's the girl we're looking for? Yeah, that's what they're positing. But, well, no, 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 you're right. They're not positing that. But, that could be true. Wait, I don't know. The timeline, so that was 20 years ago, though. So, the baby was already born when they caught him. 20 years ago. The girl that died, um, Shiraishi, I forgot her name. 
she's in high school, so unless she's like faking her age, that 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 timeline doesn't quite line up, I guess. Um, I think, but you never know. There could be more bamboozles to come. Uh, she was apparently investing money into any research on resurrection, the restoration of youth, and the lack. Hmm, so she would even throw her money at the occult. The place is greed will take you. Well then, that brings us to... Hideki Araishi. She presumably funded his research into the Rite of Resurrection as well. That's what it all points towards. I wouldn't be surprised if the Witch of Hihaku pounced on the rumors of the Rite of Resurrection. It's starting to sound likely. It might also be why she's spreading the rumor about having godly powers. It's a convenient cover if, for if she becomes young again. Godly powers? What's all? What's that all about? Ah, uh, you can ignore that. <laughs> Either way, I think Iwai took the payments he was getting for his research to seduce a family into taking him and to keep a low profile. The Shiraishi family, Michio and her mother, Toshiko, were just his unlucky marks. Excuse me, damn. And this is where you get, you... And this is where you get involved. Are you feeling steady, ma'am? Huh? This has something to do with me. Are you saying that? No, you can't mean... You've realized then. Perhaps. Uh, what? Nejima's child was a child. <laughs> was the sacrifice. Fum Fumichika's Nejima's child was a sacrifice? Is that right? No, what? Man, please calm down. That wasn't it. Uh-oh. Oh? Was I mistaken? Then what did you mean? Ma'am, please calm down. Iwai moved in with the Shiraishis to practice his magic. He needed a sacrifice to perform his youth restoration spell, but... That meant extracting the life force from someone young. Ah! Ah! So it was Iwai, this man. Iwai worshipped Nejima, so he must have also despised Nejima's detractors. Not to mention he was captured and sent to jail once before. Surely he had a bone to pick with the police. So when he realized he had a chance to both avenge Nejima, embarrass the police, and acquire a living sacrifice at the same time? Fuck. You've got it. Iwai kidnapped Haru... Haru Ishigami... Son, and managed to score three birds with one stone. No! <laughs> You're telling me that that horrid man, he never had the intention of returning my child. Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. I thought there might have been a reason why the kidnapper seemed to be mocking the police. He never wanted money. His aim was to humiliate the force. It all makes sense. He must have used Michio to lower your boy's defenses and then kidnapped him on his way back home. That man, he, he took Shuichi. Jeez, uh -oh, oh my god. Uh, uh. Man, please calm down. I understand, but you must remember to breathe. You don't understand. Uh, you have absolutely no idea what I'm going through. Ah, this isn't a joke. I would expect I wouldn't expect the police to understand. You'll never understand. Living sacrifices. What a stupid, stupid idea from a stupid little man. Okay, ma'am, let's just take a minute to breathe. Why don't we get some fresh air? I can't believe this. This is this is ah <laughs> protect protect the cop from her. Chief, I think it's best we take our leave. But before we go, there's one more important piece of information noted in his journal. Oh. Iwai got into contact with Nejima last year, after Nejima was released on parole. He provided him with accommodation and financial su uh, support. Is that so? He managed to find a hideout for Nejima to stay in. Oh! Damn it. If anything, rather than use his money to support the Shiraishis, it seems most went to Nejima instead. If Nejima's lurking around anywhere at the moment, it's probably in that hideout. Did he write where it is? Unfortunately, no. Not that I can tell. But it seems Michio knew where it was. She never met with Nejima in person, but she was going to go in and clean up, among other things. What good is that information? The girl's already dead. Wait, no, she's alive! <laughs> That's right, Michio Shirashi is alive. If you can find her and get her to talk, you can get her to spill the beans on his hideout, too. Investigator, I'm asking you. I should be going. This lady's not well. Uh-oh. Yeah, the art style is amazing. Okay. Ow. Hydrate. Yeah. You got it, babies. <laughs> oh, my goodness.
That's buck wild. Ugh. That's tragic, though, also. Okay. <laughs> Wait, he, like, forgot. No way! <laughs> Are you feeling better now that we've gotten some fresh air, ma'am? I'm fine. Suddenly finding out who the kidnapper was really made me lose my wits. We managed to solve the kidnapping case by pure luck here. You're right, but Richter? I... I feel grateful towards Michio. Because she killed the kidnapper? There's that too. But it's for something else. If Michio is the one killing all these people, then she must have acquired quite a sizable amount by now. Soul dregs, I mean. Uh-uh. And she is going crazy. Hey, Richter. Whether the kidnapper's dead or alive, it doesn't mean a thing. Revenge won't bring my boy back. Even if Nejima is, is planning to cause a massacre to collect soul dregs, then all the better. I won't give up on resurrection. Uh -oh. So, I'm counting on you. Whoa! Well, hell yeah, baby. It is noon. It is stream overtime. That feels like a perfect place. Oh my god. Holy moly. I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Last Thursday when I ended, I was like, I don't want to stop playing. But I have work to do. I have to, like, make YouTube videos and stuff. So, it is, in fact, that time. We're going to quit out of this, actually. Um, return to title. Let's save the game. Quit the game. Turn on my music once more. Yeah, let's quit the game. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. Um, we're going to continue this tomorrow, 9 a.m. West Coast American time. We're going to find somebody to raid. But in the meantime, babies, I have a few links that I would like to show you. We have um, the link to my card. That is a one-stop shop, shop, one shop for all things Comfy Catboy. Um, if you want to find me on Twitter, Instagram, wherever, you can click on that and find all the places I live. Um, we also have the Discord. It's a beautiful place full of lovely people. I would love, love, love to see you there. Um, and then last but not least, we have the link to my YouTube channels. Um, I have five channels at this point. There's probably something there that you will. Um, let's see. Who is on? Who do we got? Who do we got? Um. Oh, you know what? My, my, my art mom is live. What are they doing? There's an ad. They have been on for two hours. They're doing special events. They might have walked away. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to raid them anyway. Maybe they'll come back. Um. <laughs> oh, they look like they've come back. Okay. I love you all to pieces. I'll be back tomorrow. 9 a.m. West Coast American time. If you are a subscriber, this is our raid message. You can copy and paste that. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, give it a think. Give it just just think about it for like a sec, for like one, for like one second. You know what I mean? Just like one little second. I love you all. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.